The views, information, and opinions expressed during the following program are solely those of the individuals involved and do not necessarily represent the views of Access Communications, its representatives, or its employees. Good evening. Welcome to Access Now Sports. Tonight we're delighted to bring you the 6A City Final in the Schwann Conference that features the Lebolda's Golden Suns against the Miller Marauders. Uh, I'm, I'm one of your hosts, Rob Pine, and with me in the booth is Coach Brandon Brooks. How's it going, Coach? Back at it again for another year. Yeah, and here comes Miller out onto the field, the defending city and provincial champions. Right, and the number one ranked team on Canada Football Chat in the country right now. That says something. It says a lot, yep. Well, they've, they've won the city championship the last two years. Yep. And the provincial championship the last two years. And it makes sense, you know, Saskatchewan, we usually win gold at U18, so it's good for the rest of the country to recognize that this is the best place for high school football, I say, in the country. It is. It's a, it's a, it's a sport that gets a lot of uh, recognition. Right. I'm excited. It seems like it's been forever since I've been up here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, we have uh, two good teams here. The Boldest was four and two in, uh, in second place in the, their conference, and Miller was five and zero oh in the conference, six and zero oh for the season. They had right. run out of a conference game uh, versus the Greenall Griffins. We're gonna have O Canada now. Let's go. All right. Got the officials heading out to center field for the uh, coin toss. Here come the captains out. I'm looking forward to this game. Yeah, you know, the Miller Marauders versus the Lobotas Golden Suns is always a, 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 a high-powered game. But, you know, Miller's been kind of dominating for the past couple seasons. Let's see if Lobotis has an answer, Coach. Yeah, an interesting fact that this is the 11th city final in a row that Lobotis has b been in the game. Hey, the old Coach Ford era, right? You know, they're trying yep. to, uh, but you know, it's, it's, uh, Miller's for the past two or three years, they've been, uh, you know, they've been running the city. So uh, let's see how it plays out. Uh, hopefully, you know, I just want to have a good competitive game. That's all. I just want to see a good competition. Yeah. Yeah. If we go all the way back, uh, you know, it's uh, been a long time since a team other than the Boldis or Miller has won the uh, city championship. 2017, Campbell sort of broke up that right, sequence. Right. Right. Yep. And uh, it's, been a, it's been a tall order for some of these schools to catch these guys. But, you know. They're here. Nobody else is. So that, you know, at the end of the day, you gotta you gotta fight hard yeah. and work out in offseason to get into this game. Yeah, that's right. 
Leboldis is going to be receiving the ball to start with and uh, receiving it in the south end zone. There's not much of a wind uh, here tonight at all. It's not a bad night for uh, a November night. evening to be playing football. It's like minus five, I think right. it is, minus four, minus five. It's a beautiful night for football. And, and of course, in this stadium, you're sheltered from any kind of wind, being that it's uh, sunken about 35 feet into the ground, the yep. playing surface. The mosaic stadium, the field looks nice and clean. This is, is going to be a good one. Yeah, there's wee little bits of snow in the end zone uh, that uh, have been cleaned off the field, but that's it. You go on the sideline in the end zone, so weather shouldn't be a factor. Shouldn't be a factor. Yeah. I still prefer to have the roof on this stadium, though. I'm just saying. <laughs> that's, be that's because you're from Louisiana. Uh, you know, it, I, 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 I would still rather be playing indoors than out here in the snow. I tell you that, Coach. Hey, that's that's what makes football football yeah. the change in weather. Yeah. You've got to be able to adapt. Oh yeah. <laughs> It, it, it sometimes uh, it affects the passing game when it gets a little colder, but uh, it does. You know, uh, I'm sure both these teams we're going to see some good passing and some good running. Oh yeah. All right. Time has been whistled in, I believe. And here. We're the opening kickoff. Nice kick. It's, yeah, down to about the 16-yard line. And right up, right up the, the middle. Gut too. Nice how oh, you do yeah. it. And stopped at about the 38-39-yard uh, line. That's a good return, though. He hit it right yeah. up the gut. He followed his blocks. He got yeah, up to the 38. Yeah. No, that's a, that's a nice return to start the game. That was number uh, 27 on the return for uh, Leboldis. That was uh, Joe Patterson. Joe Patterson, yeah. Yep. That's how you hit it. Yeah, yeah. Several uh, Miller Marauders in on the tackle. So first down from their own 39 yard line. Here we go. Oh, they got Monsambo at and quarterback. They're coming out with, uh, looks like, oh, there seems to be some confusion here. Well, um, not sure what's going on. Oh, the ball got moved forward. Okay. Yeah. Sideline official noticed the ball moved forward. Here we go. They got they got Caleb Bossin Bumbo starting their quarterback. Yeah. Oh, a little toss to the outside. Going straight to the edge. Yeah, oh, great nice, play. nice, nice tackle there, eh? Great that play. Was, that was number 38 there on the tackle for uh, Miller. Uh, uh, Jackson Grace, that really nice tackle. tackle. That Except was a good tackle. He protected that outside edge. And you know, you get the matchup that you want running back on cornerback, but a little cornerback, he stepped up and he made a play. Oh, yeah. He's a small DB, but they say he here he's a provincial soccer player, so hey, footwork came into use. Yeah, well, it's going to be second and 15 now. Yeah. So, we might see our first pass of the game. This is a rather strange formation. Oh, oh no. And, and this hand of the snap, and yeah. oh, this has not been a good first series. Yeah, you uh, did. It's not the way you want to start. No, it's going I think they managed to lose 10 yards. That's not the way you yeah. want to start right there. A little third, high. Third and 20 is not where you want to start. Nope, nope. <laughs> but. It seems like these inverted wishbones has been a flavor of the uh, year in uh, football across the schedule. Yeah. You see Yorkton doing this. You see several teams now and it's coming out in this inverted uh, wishbone. And it almost looked like a punt formation. With it the does. <laughs> it does, yeah. So. Oh, oh we got. Count. I think it might have been a time count violation. A procedure. We have procedure on the offense. That'll be a five-yard penalty in replay. This is going for illegal procedure. Worse. Right. Fifty-five. Leboldis. Five-yard penalty. Repeat third down. 
Okay, we came up in high school football. We got the professional announcers now. I like it. <laughs> yeah. So Liam LaBelle is the long snapper. Good snap. Punts away clean. Nice. And taken there. Good Just cover. over center field. It was close to no yards there. I was surprised yep. there wasn't a flag thrown. But excellent coverage. No, yep. no, uh, no gain uh, on the return at all. Yep. Young Tanner Donovan. Yeah. Donovan. Yeah. Yeah, well, the first man down there was number 34, uh, Earl Tirano. Yeah. So now we'll see what the Miller offense uh, can do. So we got the two best linebackers probably in the province going against one of the best O-lines in the country. Let's see how it happens. Pass. Back to pass right away and going deep right away and pretty the coverage. good coverage back the coverage. there. Yeah, two, two guys back there in coverage. That was there was Jacob Pankel back there. Yeah. Intended uh, intended receiver was uh, Carlos Villa Villamil. Yeah. Yeah, but he was well guarded, he was well right. defended. Yeah, he was checked. So steps up underneath quickly and oh, just a hand up straight yeah, straight up the go. middle on second down. If if, if, if Labotas can control them up up front. It, 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 it's probably going to be a good game, but man, when well you got 68, 63, and 61 up front and 62, I mean, you got some use. You got four guys that was on the U6, uh, U18 team or was top 100 in the country. So it's going to be, man, it's going to be tough. Yeah, well, that brings up a, a third and seven. So that was a rather surprising call on second and 10. Right. What? Back up white. The referee was yelling at white to back up. They finally got up back yeah, up. Yeah, back on side. Yeah. Just shorter punt taken at about the 26, 27. But Great coverage. Yeah, once again, only, only picked up one or two yards on the return. Great coverage. Yep, 55. Nitro yeah. ice handle. Yeah. He's a good one. So we'll see what the Boldest can do against this uh, Marauder defense. They had four shutouts during the season, including a 37 to nothing shutout in the semifinal. Yeah. So they're a, they're a pretty strong defensive team. Now we've got something looking more like a regular football formation. Oh, offside. Oh, oh, man. Yeah, one of the receivers uh, got a little anxious there. I think yeah. I think maybe it was uh, number 29 that jumped the gun a bit. One of the slot backs, that would have been Jack Dolan, I think. Yeah. It's the nerves, right? They got to yeah. get their nerves. They got to get their nerves. Number 29, Laboldis. Five yard penalty, repeat first down. Yep. Yeah. They got to get, get their nerves under control, right? You know, it's. Well, they, they have not had any success on offense yet. Uh, now another, f that's two penalties they've had in the yep. first two series. And have yet to get a single yard. Just one play at a time. Yeah. Okay, back and gun. There's some motion across. And, yeah. Ooh, oh, he got found him. A man he got, oh, oh, he nice got him. Nice catch. Okay. Yeah. Great reception there. Great, great yep. look and... A really nice catch there. Uh, Joe Patterson. Yeah, yeah, that's a that's a big game. Now that's, they got something going. Now yep. you got something rolling. Let's see if it let, let's see if it gives you uh, some confidence yeah. going down for this drive here. Yeah, the play action really froze the pass rush. It sure did. Gave him lots of time to find that open receiver. Sometimes defensive backs tend to stare into the backfield too right. long, and someone gets behind them. Oh. oh, these bad snaps are a killer. <laughs> but <laughs> they were rather fortunate it went right into the hands of the running back. That number 38 coach, that young uh, cornerback over there. Yeah. What's his name? Uh, that Jackson Grace, he yeah. can play. Yeah, he's made some nice plays already. <laughs> he can play, man. 
all you young guys watching this game, watch the shimmy. Watch the shimmy yeah. breakdown. Yeah. So important when it comes to teaching top. Boom, right there. Beautiful. Well, that was pretty good. Uh, uh, job of picking off an errant snap there by their running back Owen Mazur, right, who was the top running back in the in the league uh, this past season. We got four receivers Better out snap. to the left, and looking Ooh. deep through the middle. Oh, he got oh, it. He, he, okay, he, got it. he could be He's gone. On he is gone. He got it. Okay, yeah. here we go. Great here, job there. Here we yeah. go. Here we go. <laughs> that, okay. was, that was complete to number 55. Yeah. Yeah, Jacob Goldstone. Jacob Goldstone. Yeah, well, he was one of the re leading receivers in the in the league this yeah. year. He had, uh, there was some amazing statistic that he had, uh, like, six or seven touchdown casts. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 11 receptions, 330 yards, and six TDs. Right, and he's one of the better linebackers in A, but when you're an athlete, you're an athlete. You know, we had a we had an athlete in 2010 in the spring league, you know, uh, by the name of Matt Hughes that did the same thing, yeah. right? He played yeah. all over the field. Yeah. Jeff Hughes. Jeff Hughes. Yeah, yeah, Jeff, Jeff Hughes. Hughes yeah, from yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, great linebacker. And a pretty decent slot back. He sure was, yeah. He just went up and got the ball. Great play. Okay, yeah. let's see. A great throw here too, <laughs> right? Mm. Yeah, almost. It was almost knocked down yep. there by Noah Finkel, by Finkel Day, the, Day. Safe, yep. the safety, but just <laughs> inches. Here we go. Yeah. Here we go. But a wonderful throw and a uh, wonder, wonderful catch and run. Yeah. Okay, well, we might be in for, hey, you might have got to put some work in tonight, uh, Miller, let's go. It might be, we might be in for one. I'm excited. Well, you know, in their in matchup in the regular season. Uh, oh, they're going for the onside, coach. Oh, but just a little too far. Oh. Right? They were right there, but, eh. In the regular season, they, when they played Miller the first game of the season, it yeah. was uh, 23 for Miller and two for Lebovis. So they've already outdone their their scoring. For right, and they also feel like that you know when you when you lose to a team 23 to two, and you and you look at each other throughout the season, that grows some confidence knowing that you was the only team that got close to uh, beating them. Right. Well, so. yeah, 21 point difference was the closest game Miller had all season. All season, right. Yeah. There's an in oh, there go. burst yep. through an inside run and burst through the middle and that nice run there to start the drive. That was Brayden, Brayden Wolf. Wolf. Yep. At the end of the day, the Miller Marta has the best high school O line in the country. Yeah. So when all else fails, you see some great blocking yes. up front there. They when all else fails, go to the run. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah well, wonderful blocking by the offensive line on that play. Under center and we're going back yep. to it again and well he made, a, he made a few yards this time but it, that was all on his own. Oh yeah. 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 Lebotis is gonna have to buckle down right here because Miller's about to give him their best shot. Yeah. Yeah, that was Jack McLeod for three yards up the middle, but there's a, a mess of uh Lebotis players there waiting for him. There we go, second down. Yes. A big long. play right here. Yeah, we've got three receivers to the right, two to the left. And he's going to back to pass. No, no. Oh, 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 oh ball and came a out. Fumble. <laughs> ball I, came out. I think Miller has it. I think, but yeah, that was well read. It sure was. Yeah, that was uh, on the tackle there. I think that was number 43, uh, Miguel Aruda. Aruda. Yeah. All right, Miguel. Yeah, he wasn't fooled at all. Oh, and he came so close to getting the ball. Yeah. Well, that's going to bring up third and long. Third and six. It's, 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 it's something about these punt formations where they feel like they have to line everybody up so tight 
it, uh, I just it, it makes me nervous because I always think that if you can secure the edge, if you can secure those ends, you always got a shot to the outside, right? But yeah, the, the neither team is putting out anyone wide to cover the punt. Right. Uh, but it's well covered it's there. It's well covered there, sure is. Yeah. Yeah, nice nice tackle on the play there by uh, number three, Ch Chase Murray. Good, yeah, good play. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was a member of the U18 team uh, for Saskatchewan. Hey. The, the, well, the, the U18 <laughs> Futures team. Yep, the, yep. The, the field is covered with U18 uh, green all over the place. So. Yeah. Yeah, the, there's a lot of U18 it is, and yep. U16 players uh, out there right now. Of course, we know Saskatchewan always does very well in the U16, U18 they do, championships. Yep. Ch championships, after championships after championships for our, for our province. Yeah, now here's that uh, wishbone uh, formation. Not much room there. You got a flag, couple though. A couple of yards gained. Yeah, just only a couple of yards there. That was uh, Liam LaBelle with the ball. We had the pleasure of coaching Liam we La did. LaBelle on our band team. Captain. We sure did. Uh, you know what, Coach? Uh, Miller better be careful, man, because uh, they're running that play. I think they set him up for a nice play action here. Watch the quarterback, who's a pretty good running back. Yeah, well, the 77 was keeping his Offside, eye on there. He number 62, so. Bowl, this. That Andrews penalty has been declined. Second down. Isaac Griffin. Yeah. He's seen, he's seen that type of uh, action before. Yeah, because that... Uh, that uh, Masan Bumbo, he's a he's a hell of a runner too. It's a little toss into the short side, and oh! Oh, what? What? <laughs> they had what? Oh, what? That. My goodness! And okay. knocked out of bounds there. Okay. Finally, and finally knocked out of bounds there. Holy okay. man! <laughs> that was Jackson Grace again knocking him out of bounds. Yeah. There was nothing there, and then he just cut up the field. And that was all Mazer right there. Yeah, that was all Mazer. Look at that leap. Uh, that picked up yeah. another 15, 20, 25, almost 30 yards after okay. the leap. The Golden, the Golden Suns come to play tonight. Okay. They're down on the 37-yard uh, line now, Miller. First and 10. They had that play. Ah, that's what you don't oh, need right there, man. That's the third bad snap uh, already in the first quarter for Leboldis. They've got to get that straight out. they got to get that fixed out right that's there. That's just a killer after a huge play like that. Now you take a six or seven yard loss on a bad snap again. Yeah, I think coach is going to take a time out maybe to give him a talk to or. Up. Uh, you got somebody down. Oh, that's Nitro. He's one of their top uh, defenders, Nitro Ice Hanna. The wheel. Well, he seems to be holding his his head. It's there. holding his head. Yeah. I'm not sure what happened there. Yeah, this I, I is his first year of high school yeah. football. He was an excellent linebacker in uh, yeah, RMF. For sure. And he also was. Uh, he also played U18 too. Yeah. They lose him. That's that's a big loss. Well, he's off for three plays for sure. But it's going to bring up second and seventeen now after yeah. the after the the snap that went awry. See. Oh, what a oh, great play call! Back. Yeah. Oh, oh, what a great tackle, though. Yeah. It great like tackle. He had a lot of room there, but it was a well read there. Uh, number 77, yep. Isaac Griffin again, eh? Great offensive play call, but uh, even better defensive play. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, look at this pursuit. He, he's going, he reads it, and look at the pursuit uh, to make the tackle. Yep. Otherwise, he had a big game. He did. He was sucked in, too. 77 was, he was in the mesh there. And he fought his way out there, pile to track down the runner. That's pretty good. Yeah. Good pursuit. Is this going to bring up a punt here now? Got the returner back on the goal line. I think Miller's going for the block here. Mm, pretty good snap. 
punt good away. Punt. Nice punt. Right nice punt. down to the goal line. Oh, and he is nowhere. Oh, to go. what a great. Yep, got him on the one, too. Yeah. He should have just gave up the. Because uh, he caught the ball outside the goal line. If you, if you catch it in the end zone and you get out, it's automatically to the 20 in amateur football. Right. But there, because he caught it just just in outside the goal line, that's where they're going to field that's the ball. That's where they're going to spot it. If I'm LeBeau, I'm sitting in the he's house. Almost, he's lucky he didn't get tackled in the end zone because right. he stepped back into the end zone and then right. got out. So they've got about 109 yards to go. Right. If I'm LeBeau this right now, I'm sitting in the house. The whole house. <laughs> well. But let's see, though. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, they're going to pass a little. No, a little. Oh, yeah, fake the jet sweep. Oh, no. Oh. oh, he had an open receiver. Oh, yeah. That was uh, uh, Braden Wolf yep. wide open there. He just overthrew him. And there really wasn't that much pressure on him. Just ball got away on him. That would have been a huge game. It sure would have. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, that's the, their grade 12 uh, quarterback, uh, Vindevogel. He's a good player, too. He's a good quarterback. But... Oh, well, good, we got, we got, we we got, got a flag. Got a flag. Not much running room there. Gain of about three yards. What's the flag? Yeah, I didn't catch who the flag was on. Okay, defense was Miller off, so that's going to give yes. them a little bit of room here now. Second and five. You know, you teach kids to set the yard at an early age. It says Adam football is not enough. Well, the but sometimes they just get anxious and jump. Right. Well, Repeat I didn't see down. anyone jump, but could be wrong. I think he's just offside. Yeah, I think they lined up yep. offside. And usually the sideline officials are hollering at you to right. step back. But we've got four receivers to the left. Little run. Oh, oh. okay. And uh, it's going to be awful close to a first It'll down. Be close. A little bit of tough running there. Nice, oh, yeah. nice, uh, nice job of just bumping to the outside by Jack McLeod. I think they're going to give it to him. Or he might be like a half of, yeah. like a half a foot short. Yeah, nice block yeah. in the play there as well by number 68 to free yeah. him up by Kyle Mag Mag and the. So they're going to measure this one? Yeah, I think or are so. they just having a good look at it? No, they're measuring this one. Yeah. I think they might need a foot. <laughs> I'm guessing. Your eyesight's better than mine. Yeah, I'm guessing. Let's see, uh, Buddy, they God stretch it. that chain. Ah. <laughs> I think they're short by a couple of inches, a couple Let's of chain here. links. Yeah. Look at that. You can see where he's holding on to the chain there. Oh, man. What's going on? Ah, I was right. About a foot. No, no. That's... Probably like a half a foot. Three inches. Three, yeah. <laughs> well, a quarter of a, a foot. A quarter of a foot, yeah. Well, I guess my eyesight's not that great, Coach, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's going to bring up third down, and uh, I mean, one's <laughs> got to assume they're gambling here. Right. He stuck a couple of receivers out wide to the left. Watch the car. Yeah. Uh, watch, yeah. the, uh, watch the ball. D-line, yeah. watch yeah. the ball. And they're all down in a four-point stance, double tight end, and yeah. Oh, what we got? Oh, oh, oh yeah. no. He got it, though. Yeah, he got it. He only had to get, oh, we got a, uh, we got a flag. I think it was offside again on LeBron. Oh, defense. Oh. Both uh, sideline officials call, made the call. Yeah, so they'll take the penalty and get a few more yards. 
Offside, LaVolge number 67. Yep. This five yard penalty results in a first down. Yeah. So we've got a little under two minutes left in the first quarter. Still looking for some offense from uh, Miller. If I'm Miller, I'm trying to establish the run. You got those big hoggies up front. Just try to grind it. Just try to grind Labotis down. You got two linebackers who's playing both sides of the ball with LaBelle. Now there's confusion and uh, timeout. Miller took a timeout. They seem to be confused. Maybe not the right personnel on the field. Yeah. It's pretty early for a timeout. You just got. Well, I think they had. The Look. wrong per there was someone standing just yeah. in bounds out by the uh, yard markers there. I get it. You want to get it right. So. But, you know, you got one of the better offensive lines in the country, you know, and you got LaBelle and, and uh, Goldstone who's playing both ways. Yeah. I say just take it to him. Yeah, two of the uh, two of the linebackers there. Yep. Well, I think Liam LaBelle is playing as a rush end. Yeah. But let's see. Yeah. Hey, well, we got first and ten. Yep. And four receivers, and they're just tossing into the short side. Good and pursuit. Yep. Good pursuit. But yep. they, you know, they picked up probably six or seven yards there. Yeah. Tack the tackle was made there by number 22. That's uh, Jacob Hankel on the tackle. Yeah. They're just trying to get one of those linemen out in front, eh? Yep trying to scratch it out. Yeah, they had four people to the left, but came back to the their weaker side. Here we go. So, On the center. Yeah, got seven yards, so. A little counter action. Oh, oh initially stopped in the backfield. And he fought well and got short, but they broke through the, uh, the tackle. But He's going to be short again. He's going to be short. Oh, here we go. This is happening. Here we go. Here we go. What you go do? Yeah. It's a half a yard short there. Ooh. He managed to pull away there, eh? Oh, uh, for you to bowl this, man, you yeah. got you, you, you to you gotta earn, earn Ma your... Manzik, uh, yeah. had him by the, the shirt tail. Oh, they going for it. Back. Okay, here we go. That's a whole, that's a big yard, too. Oh, he, oh got he got it. it. Yeah, he got he it. Got he got it. it. Yeah, yeah just behind it. the big hog. He's up front. Yep. Just sort of pushed forward. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> That's got to hurt having a big oh, lineman yeah. fall on top of you. Yep. Just yeah. get behind big number 62, Tristan Rapchalk, yeah. and just mm -hmm. ride him out. Yeah, 62 and 68 there, Kyle Magnion. Yep. Just follow behind those big guys. So they've got a first down now from about their own 28 yard line. This will be the last play of the quarter. Lots of motion going on and oh, a little shovel oh, nice pass. Play pass. Nice, nice pass. Yeah, but fairly well defended yep, Good for about four yards. Labota's defense is playing some uh, decent football. He just killing yeah. themselves with the penalties, man. Yeah, they made it look like a quarterback run and then yep. they just a little shovel pass there to uh, that, that little shovel pass went to Blake uh, Laidlaw. Yep. Hey, but the score says it all. You know, they, they started off high. Then three more quarters left. Let's see what let's see what turns out. Yeah, the Bulldogs are the uh, the definite underdogs oh, in this game. But they've sure played uh, well the first half, right. first quarter, I should say. Here we go. Aside from that one play, uh, Miller hasn't had much success between the tackles. They haven't, but yeah. that's the thing, though. Like, they can run between the tackles against yeah. anybody in the country. So I'm thinking, like, you know, body shots there. Yeah, eventually. Let's see, second and five. Yeah. 
Yeah, just a little lead, and oh, gee, met at the line of scrimmage there. I'll, there was nothing. I'll tell you right now, Coach, if it's offsides yeah. on the bonus <laughs> D-line, I'm going to go down there myself and set the yard. That was a great play by Gavin Menzing, uh, just meeting him right at the line of scrimmage. Yeah, what we got here? Offsides again. Boy, oh, let me tell you here. Oh, my here. goodness. <laughs> let me tell you something. <laughs> let me tell you something. Yeah. Offside, number 57, the bowl. Oh, man. This five-yard penalty results in a first down. Hey, coach, you got to get that D-line coach come back. <laughs> hey, man, listen. Is that number four? Is that is that the fourth one? Yeah, I, yeah, for sure it's the like, fourth. Come on, man. Come on. There you go. Set the yard. Go old school with it. Set it. Look at Liam. <laughs> the, 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 the North Central Laker there, Liam LaBelle, is telling him, one yard, let's go. Yeah, you, you can't <laughs> keep doing that on a team. No. Fake the nah, jet I, and up the middle there and got some yeah. some space that time. Now I know Maybe that, five yards. This is another flag. I know this better not be. Uh, I think it's on them this time. Though. I think I think the receiver was in the neutral zone at the snap of the ball. Uh, yeah, the uh, Leboldis coaches are saying push them back, take them back, accept Offside. the penalty. Number three, five, five penalty. Yeah. Repeat first yeah. down. Here we go. So, yeah. gonna go back to first and ten again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think he was in his. Uh, yeah. There you go. I don't know. That was kind of. They, eh. they had a good push there up front. Uh, yeah. But, Okay, well, back to first and ten. Got two receivers right and left, and we've got motion moving. Oh, up. face mask. <laughs> Interception, but I think I'm thinking I'm, I'm thinking face mask. You think that's what it was? I'm thinking was it a face hold? mask. You never know from uh, back there. Yeah. Well. From the, just the reaction of the players, you got to think that yeah. the penalty was. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. It might be a hole. Okay. Yeah, it was. Oh, a it hold. was holding. Okay. Yeah. I was wrong. Yeah, huge. Wow. Turnover, right? A great interception holding. on the yeah. play. Number 68. This penalty is declined. Result of the play is a first yeah, down. Gee, they're right. they're at okay. the 45 yard line. So here we've got a replay. Yeah. I thought for sure you got him on the face mask. Oh, he no, didn't. he just totally missed. Right, he missed him. And then we had the hold and look at that diving catch, Eric Weave. Can the Golden Suns go up 14 to 0? Let's see. Well. Oh, um, what's going on? I don't know. I uh, gotta be procedure because there's still counts. no, there was still time on the clock. It's gotta be procedure. It's a motion on the O line. Number 68, Leboldis. Five yard penalty, repeat first down. Yeah. Illegal procedure, someone moved on the O-line. Oh man. Boy, the ref, the ref's running a tight ship tonight, I tell you that. Well, between offsides and illegal procedures. Yeah. The strike's not playing around. Yep. I don't have to deal with the strikes for another year or so. <laughs> But these guys got to deal with him tonight. <laughs> well, uh, you've got to stay on side. You can't move early. So. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that was that was a nice uh, nice little play though, M yeah. Mazur with the the counter action. But nice tackle there too. There, hey. Yeah. 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 Well read by Liam Platt. Nice tackle. So. It's gonna bring up second and ten now. They've had some uh, up. They got Goldstone as the third receiver in. Yeah, empty set. And, uh, I'm liking this matchup right uh, now. Yeah, three receivers either side. Looks like a hitch. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. He had to go. Uh, had a fall on his butt catching the ball. Yeah. So it would have that's been. kind of a that's kind of a different play call there. You're running bubbles on second and long, but hey, you know that's, that's yeah. Right. Well, it wasn't he caught bounce. That's how low it was. Yeah, maybe they saw something I didn't. Quarterback know. just rushed his throw a bit, eh? So yeah, they're going to be punting now from the 45 yard line. Yeah. So last time that was <laughs> right to the goal line 
Yep, it was a great punt. point last yeah. time. See what happens this time. Good snap. Yeah. And that's five yards. A no oh. yard call that time. So they're, oh, and he managed to, they're going to tack on another five. They're going to yeah. get the ball at about the 30 yard line. I don't know. That was, that was kind of iffy right there. I thought he, I thought he gave him five, but you know. Yeah. Oh, Mike. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, no, no yards. yards. Yeah, I don't know. I thought, I, I, yeah, I thought he gave him five there. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no yards. 34. 34 was there. Side. Yeah, he yeah. Five yard the penalty and the run. First yeah. Halo. yeah, unfortunately, Earl Tarano got caught inside. Yeah, he did. So it brings it out just over the 30 yard line. See, their offense is yet to really get on track. Right. Oh. And the, uh, Nine so, seconds. Nine yeah, seconds. Yeah, well, they were short of players. Six. Five. And they just got just got it off. Nothing. Oh. Nothing. <laughs> that yeah. front seven of Labotas is playing tonight. Yeah, there was a big. Yeah, but that, that was right a big there. that was a big collision right there. Yeah, that tackle there was made by number two. John Kemplin. Yeah. Yeah. Not messing around. He's not eight enough. Yeah, the French version student. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, count. Well, Great play. Was, yeah, once again, not much there. They get maybe a yard, two yards at best. Yep. Oh. Oh, is it someone getting up slowly? That's oh. Liam. He took on so so Liam took on that uh took on those trapped guards the way you supposed yeah, to. Yeah, he went right into their chest. Big Boom. guard and big tackle yep. and. But but that's exactly how you play it. But yeah. it comes with some punishment though. <laughs> yeah, it comes well, with some punishment. Good job by uh, number sixty-seven, uh, Enoch uh, uh, Oludomir. Yeah. Enoch Oladomir. Yeah. Yep. yeah, nice job by him of chasing yep. the play down from the, his inside line position. To the <laughs> but kudos to the Lobotus, uh staff. They put the pronunciations by the name. So. Yep. Oh, yeah. and that get, was close to being blocked. Trying to get to the outside. Oh, that's oh. our scholar. Yeah, yep, we're going to have it. a 15-yard penalty yep. for a horse that's collar. That's our scholar. You can't grab the jersey above the numbers at the back. Yeah. Most people think a horse collar, you have to reach inside the collar. No, right. it's uh, above the numbers uh, from the back, just because it can cause some real serious it knee sure injuries. Yeah. It's a safety issue at all levels of football. I think the guilty party on that one is uh, Mr. Isaac Griffin, number 77 for, for uh, Miller. No, well, we have do have an injured player, number 15 for the Lobo, tackle. This is 77 sort of Miller. That 15-yard penalty applied under the play. First down, the ball. Hey, I got it. Run away. Yeah, Mun that was a horse caller right there. You do that right in front of the referee, you're not getting away with it. Yeah. He's ple he was pleading his case, but I'm sorry. Yeah, so first down at the 45. That's where they started their last drive. That's where they the started last drive. They got to finish, though. The interception. They got to finish. Well, they got to not have offsides and uh, illegal procedures. There's a sort of an inside toss. Yeah. I uh, got a couple of yards. That was it. Not much there. They haven't went back to what got them the uh, touchdown the first time and spreading that ball around in front of sling it. Yeah. You know, you... I don't know, you know, I, I understand that you got to try to establish the one game, but, you know, if, if, if. Go with what works. Go with what works, yeah, you know. <laughs> well, second and long, so let's see what they do. They're in a double tight end formation. And, oh. oh he got him, too. Oh, what a play by young Noah Finkelden. Yeah. Great job what of getting play. over there. Hey, that's what a safety's supposed to that's do. That's what he's supposed to do. Protect deep. He was yep. open initially. But he got there. Ball needed to be thrown more to the outside. Yeah. Because right there, you, he's open. But yeah, and he needed to put a little bit more under that too. Yeah. What he, a great play. 
Yeah. Nope. That, that would have been a touchdown. Yeah. Noah Finkel Day in his RMF days was a nightmare for all the Adam and Pee Wee teams that he, uh, you know, he didn't lose a he didn't lose a game when he played RMF coach. That's how dominant he was. He was also one of the uh, starting uh, big stars for the U16 team this past year. There's an inside run where he actually picked up, I think, well, he might have the first down, yeah. depending where they mark it. That was some tough inside running there by uh, Braden Wolf. Yep. Yeah. Well, we'll see what, we go. uh, what goes here now. Uh oh, well, we've got He's one of the linemen, uh, one of the offensive linemen has taken a knee after they came out of the huddle. Let's see what number that is. 58. 58 is yeah, that's Alex, Alex Norman. Yeah, Normanton. Normanton, yeah. Yeah, their left tackle. Right limp as he's coming off the right. field. So now the they replaced the left tackle with uh, number 50, uh, 54. 54. Yeah, that's Ethan Thomas. Yeah. Well, Ethan got some big shoes to fill because he's going against one of the best rushers in the country with Liam LaBelle there. So let's see if they take advantage of that matchup. Oh, just a oh, oh, he dropped and it. Drop. He was too anxious to take off and run with it. Yeah. That was Jackson uh, Ashman with the... Uh, the potential reception. Yeah. Jackson's more of a uh, well throwing ball. Yeah, yeah, he's more of a DB though. His, yeah. his, his, his prowess is on the defense side of the ball. Yeah. So. Well, I don't think he was going to go very far because Eric right. Weeb was right there. Now it's second and long. Yeah. Under Under center. Center. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh we got him. That pressure was oh. something serious. That pressure was something yeah. serious. He had to go to his knees to yeah. catch the ball. He just couldn't set up and throw it yeah. because of the pressure. Yeah, that, that was Liam LaBelle. Liam LaBelle. With the pressure. Yep, yeah, sure was. Yeah. Yeah, they just left him unblocked. Yeah. That's dangerous. That, that's dangerous. That's dangerous. <laughs> yeah. He's pretty fast. Is he okay? Is quarterback there okay? Is, is, is Vinga Vogel okay? He seemed like he's a little shaken up back there, and now he has to punt. Yeah, it's third down. <laughs> you hear the coaches yelling, hey, don't be outside. You can't be outside, yeah. <laughs> a left footed punter, right? Eh? Nice punt. Over to the sideline. And Nowhere for Mazer to go. St yeah. It's throwing out of bounds at about the 50 yard line. Yeah, that great that punt. Good punt. Yep. Yeah, it didn't give him a chance for a run back at all. Yeah, and uh, well covered downfield there. Yeah. And once again, that was number 38, Jackson Grace. There you go, yep. Yeah. He can play. And he's such a he's such a small guy, but he is he is dynamite. Yeah, he's been doing a good job so far this game. He's only 145 pounds, there five seven. Hey, he plays bigger. Yep. And it says here he's a great tackler. Well, I'd have to agree with yep. that. Oh, well, just a quarterback run. Yep. Eh, picked up four yards. And and that's what my Sam Bumbo could do for you. Caleb's a pretty good runner. I remember uh, coaching against him in uh, RMF when he played for the Sundowns. He is a tough runner. I think he was rated one of the top uh, four running backs in spring league this past year, too. He can run hard. Well, that's going to bring up second and six. They've been playing this whole quarter pretty much in uh, the Miller end of the field. Yeah. Right? Little toss to the boundary. Nice cut back inside. Oh, man. And has picked up the first down and first a little down. bit more. Yep, good run. Yeah. And that's 
Uh -oh. good, good decision there by Mazur to cut back inside. We got someone there. Uh, yeah, we have an injury there. Oh, uh, one of the uh, offensive linemen, uh, someone fell on the back of his leg. Number 40, Evan Anderson. Yeah. Yep, yep young Evan Anderson. Trainers got him off the field real quick, though. We're going to take a look at him. Yeah, and they, you, when you see in the replay, you could see that uh, one of, a player fell into the back of his leg there, right? He didn't yep. even... S didn't see it coming. That's one of the dangers of football. But it's a first down. Yep. Oh, Whoa. there's that counter again. And pretty well defended, eh? That's he, insane play. Yeah. He's, run, he's running hard, yeah. though. Yeah, he is. But that, he was is a, hard. that was a nice tackle there by Simon Kerr, eh? One of the linebackers, one of the captains of the team. Yep. Uh oh, see so that's what you don't need right here is guys yeah. to start getting up slowly and. Coming down. Yeah. Simon Kerr is a pretty sure-handed tackler. They say he's one of the stronger guys on the team. Oh yeah. Yeah. Saw the light and quit playing hockey to switch to football. There you go. Oh, we got empty here. Yeah. This last time they threw a hitch off of this. Oh, he's faking the hitch. Oh, oh. great play. Yeah. Yeah, that uh, had, looked like he had some room to run, but uh, that was Carlos MacArthur that uh, right. read that, sniffed that one out. So that was a design quarterback draw. Too much dancing back there, young man. You got to find it and you got to hit it. Yeah. Yeah, he's a... MacArthur's a former uh, U18 uh, team player. He was too old for the U18 this year. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think Mazer has a bloody nose. Oh uh, well, no, it's an injury timeout. You don't have to burn the timeout. He should. It's blood, right? It's, yeah, you're allowed. <laughs> in fact, you're allowed. I believe is it. Two minutes to uh, yeah to clean up blood, clean right. up blood, and uh, with no timeout, and allow the player back into the game. Right. But it does bring up third and long again. Yeah, I think they got it. Yeah, I think they're uh, that that forty-five yard line has been their nemesis. Uh, right. This, <laughs> this second quarter, <laughs> they're they at the forty-five again. <laughs> yeah. They can't seem to get past it. be really uh, draining down there, I tell you. Yeah, the trainers looking after him there. Yeah, there and the, he's surrounded by about three trainers. I don't know uh, on a punt why they just don't put someone else in and yeah. uh, and make their adjustments right now. Yeah. Got the time out. Yeah. Man. Well, they must feel he's an integral part of their punt coverage. Yeah. So, play on. Here we yeah, go. he's saying play on. Yeah. Gave him time to uh, get get uh, fixed up, but he's still bent over there with the trainers around him. For the return is Tanner Donable. And oh, and that uh, is a punt. Yeah. Oh, oh back back. Get out the way, get out the way, get out the way, get out the way, get out the way. Yeah, there's no yards again. That was just a bad bounce. Yeah. Got thrown to the turf harshly there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but there's gonna be no yards. That that ball wasn't uh kicked very high and then right. hit the turf and started coming backwards. Started coming backwards. No yeah. yards. 22, Leboldis. Five-yard penalty under the run. First down. You know, you, 
You could coach it up all week about telling these boys how to form the radius for the new yeah. yards, but man, it's... When the ball bounces <laughs> like that, you just can't react quick enough. And, right. And especially if the returner gets on it right away. Right. It's, a, it's just one of those unlucky bounces, literally. Time out. Yeah, we've had a timeout. Timeout on Leboldis there? Yeah. yeah, well, we've got uh, two minutes and 37 seconds left. Yeah, so, 7 0. <laughs> you may as well use your timeouts. Uh, you don't get them back in the right. second half. You only get two and a half. You know, Leboldis is letting Miller hang around, you know, for a long time. Like, it's several times they got the ball and they come up short. But, you know, if you, if, 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 if you don't produce, on the offensive side of the ball, you want to mess around and let Miller, uh, you know, grind his, grind their way back into this game. So well, one big play and it's a one tie game. One big play is a tie game. Yeah. yeah. So see what goes here. Little jet fake back to pass is being chased and brought down, down. there. Finally, uh, finally brought down. Running around, and that was Liam LaBelle. Liam LaBelle again. He's like he's, he's a man on fire tonight. Well, he's he's tough to block. He's fast. He's strong. And yeah, you're just not going to get away from him. So. They might have gained half a yard on the play, a yard. Yeah. He's been on it tonight. And Ella Boat is D line is holding their own too. Okay, rolling right, being oh, chased, yeah. and there's that throwback oh. again. And that, that's they're lucky that wasn't intercepted. Yeah, yeah like, that's kind of, it kind of getting a little bit too, uh, I don't know. Like, uh, Jay, uh, Eric Weeb was all over that. Yeah. Uh, and, and there was a second player there as well. Yeah, they were kind of playing with fire there a little bit, but hey, you yeah. know, that's. Yeah, the. Miguel Arruda was there as well. Yeah. Uh, that was, they were lucky when you just turn and fire without looking. Right. You're taking a chance. A big chance. And they got away with that one. So, have the punt. Uh, is that Ms. Mazer back there at the four, it is. 45? It is, yeah. yeah. A pretty good, decent punt fielded just uh, about the 41-yard line. And out to <laughs> about the 51. Absolutely nobody's Jay blocking on the ball. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely not. Absolutely not. One block. But, hey, you know, it's, it's, I guess it's tough, you know, getting down there and, you know, trying to get to that out, that inside shoulder, the Jay blocking yeah. guy, you know, but... Well, here we go. See if they can do anything last two minutes last of the two game. Minutes. Take a chance. Or last two minutes of the half, I should say. Yep. Take a chance. Yeah. The uh, clock will stop on incompletions or if you uh, get out of bounds with the ball. So they have lots of time. And oh, they're oh, just man. a straight ahead handoff for probably a half a yard loss. Yep. That was pretty well read there by number 62, Tristan Rapchuk. Yep, great play. One of their two-way uh, two play players. linemen. Yeah. Yep, great play by Boom, that was, yeah, he was just there. <laughs> right, in the, right in the hole. Well, you know, the, it's, 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 it's a chess match. It's a chess match. Coaches are trying to run a little bit of everything to see what works. You know, so. Well, so far, the only thing that's worked for either team pretty much is the pass. It's the pass, yep. There's a little roll. There's the. Oh, oh, ooh, that was. There's that same kind of throwback. Yeah. Roll one way, throwback the other that uh, almost cost Miller uh, an yep. interception. And Isaac Griffin read it. He read it perfectly. Yeah. Now watch this. Just boom and. There, there, that could have easily yeah. been intercepted. But they have, to, they have to recognize that everybody on that defense is looking at Owen Mazur. So yeah. wherever he goes, they're going to go. So There's going to be some people looking yeah. for him. Maybe if you do it opposite of him, that'll be there. And that brings up punt. 
It's been a punt in the fair. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, this is not uh, normal for either team. That many punts. Yeah. And there's a low bouncing ball again. Come on, give him five. Give him five. Oh yeah, they got all. Oh. They got it this time. Yeah. They got backed out of there, but that ball is coming backwards on yeah. both of the the previous punts here. Must be something up with the turf. <laughs> Well, just the spin, the, the rotation of the ball. He's not getting a really good uh, punt away, right? And great job of backing away, though. Yeah. And it was May Mazur that made the tackle. Made a tackle. Yeah. Those boys are going to be tired in, uh, yeah. in, 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 in halftime here. Well. Miller's got a minute and 19 seconds to put some points on the board. I don't think they've been shut out in a half uh, this year. This year. And they also get the ball back at half, too. So, whew, yeah. boy. Before the snap, timeout. The boldest. Yeah. Wonder what that was about. Well, there's no coaches out there, so uh, I guess he's calling them in right now. Yeah, gonna have a chat. Yep. Chat on the sidelines. That's to see what They want to do. Maybe they didn't get the proper defense signaled in. Yep. And look at that. They're talking to uh, number 38, Nixon Ghost, on a grade nine. Yeah. Maybe it's a grade nine that's running the D. I like it. <laughs> well, that's. Uh, the older Goldstone's younger brother, brother. They're yeah, both he's, playing linebacker. Yeah, he was the one that was called to the side. Yeah, there's just a little give inside and fell. Oh, got about seven yards. Yeah. Yeah, tough run there by uh, by a Brave Wolf. You know, Miller could do that all yeah. day if they want to. That's some nice blocking there by number six. Disc. They literally, they, they literally could run the ball all day if they want, but you know. Maybe they're not, don't want to be patient enough to get it five, uh, five yards at a time. Yeah. But that, there oh, you go. There he's found there a little go. space outside. Oh, we got a flag. Yeah, that was a gain of a, uh, oh, Jay. Hold it. I think it's going back. Yeah, yeah it's going it is back. holding on the offense. Well, that's the that's what you don't need right there. No, no. Before the boldest was fourth. Four yards were gained. Holding. Ooh. Left. Miller. Ten yard penalty. For second down. But four yards was gained too. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If it, man. Was, if it had a yards back. That's unfortunate. He started getting it going with the run. Yeah. yeah, they've had two good running plays in a row. But we're into the final minute now. And they're in, backed up to their own 29. And there's an outside stretch. Oh, and he... Yeah. Oh. Well, he picked up the boat. Seven yards, I'm going to say there. Oh, and coach, uh, coach, the coaches from the boaters don't have no more timeouts left yeah, either. Yeah. Yeah. Nice job of pursuit, though, by yep. the, uh, sure the Golden Suns. If you're the boaters, though, you want to get a good, a, a good solid return here and try to kick a field goal and go up by two scores and yeah. half. So you can see the ball is uh, sort of just outside right on the hash and look at where the returner is standing over on the numbers. Yeah. <laughs> he fully expects it to be punted to the boundary just like that. Yeah. And out of bounds. Lobotis has had great field position tonight. They have. They He's got to take advantage of it. That's the one thing they that's the one thing they haven't done well tonight. Right. Right. Taking advantage, advantage of their field, great field position. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they've got 38 seconds left to do I'm something. I'm swinging it, coach. I'm, <laughs> swinging it. I'm, I'm throwing it all over the place. 
Oh, what they're doing? Oh, they're going into they're going into a tight a tight formation here. Are they just gonna? Oh, they're no. just gonna kneel it out. No. What are you doing? Yeah, they're just gonna kneel the ball out. It looks like. Come on. Oh, that's a little disappointing. That takes it down to 35 seconds. Oh, uh, okay. Well, Miller does have a timeout if they wanted to take it, but they're content, I think, just to let this half run out and regroup. And he's just letting the play clock run down. Two seconds, snap it. Take the knee. Timeout, timeout. Yep, they caught a timeout. Here we go. <laughs> So Miller wants to make them punt, punt it. it. They can punt it, yep. Maybe they're going to go for the block. Get a good return, maybe throw a bomb. Yeah. Oh, here man. comes the punt team in. I think if, uh, I think if I'm uh, the oldest, I'm just going to punt it out of bounds. So right. Don't give them a chance for a run back. Make sure you're blocking because <laughs> that's the only I reason know. I can see that they would want to yeah, do this. Yeah, yeah. I mean, at least at least throw it once and then be like, hey, OK, you know, burn some clock. OK, we're going to nail it out for the rest of the half, you know, give your chef a shot to maybe make a, uh, a, a lucky catch or something and then kick a field goal. Yeah. Right. Let's watch the pressure here. No, they backed a whole bunch of guys off. And yeah, over to the sideline. Oh, and got a bit away. Not. Not for good, long. Good yeah, coverage, good they coverage, got him there. Coverage. And there's two seconds left, so maybe one hail mary. Or yeah. I don't don't really understand. Uh oh, I think Labelle's hurt on the field. Oh no, he's looking it off. Yeah. Yeah, the tackle on that punt there was made by number 29, uh, Jack Dolan. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know what they're doing. Are they actually going to throw the ball? I mean, I think they're going to nail it out too. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's why they get paid the big bucks in high school, you know. <laughs> well, they've got to go one more time. Yeah. He <laughs> only took one second off the clock. And there's there the go. half. So at half time, it's. The Laboldis Golden Sun seven and the Miller Marauders nothing. Yep. That's a bit of a surprise. It is a surprise. Yeah. Yep. But you know, it was interesting football, yep. entertaining, but very conservative football play. I tell you that. Yeah. The, <laughs> the big success came from uh, through the air through for the air. both teams, and otherwise just been grinded out, grinded out. Yeah. So, so we're going to. Uh, take a short break here for half time uh, we'll be back to for the start of the uh, second half right now we're going to go to a session of locker talk with Pete and Mitch Welcome back, everybody. Just as we did on last week's show, we preview a high school football city final coming up. This time it's the 6A version, a rematch of last year's uh, big campaign. Uh, this one featuring, of course, the LaBoldis Golden Suns and the Miller Marauders. First up in terms of uh, on the show this week and to be interviewed, the Golden Suns. Here to talk about uh, their season and look ahead to the city final, we have, in no particular order, I guess seated next to Mitch and working our way out, linebacker Jacob Goldstone. We have uh, running back Owen Mazur making his second consecutive appearance on the show. And at the far end of the table, first timer, but I'm sure he's got a lot to contribute and we'll find out real quick. Eric Weeb joins us as well. Weeb, we'll start with you since you're the newcomer. Well, Goldstone's probably been interviewed a couple times before. Uh, you guys definitely on a bit of a roll lately. Tell us about the 51-29 uh, win over Riffle in the semis. It was super tight to start. Like, we were only up, tw like, seven points at half. And then, you know, the way we play offense, man, like, just running it down their throats, cold weather, defense starts to wear down, and we start to break more of those runs. Jacob, uh, you guys had 
a fine regular season, four and two, nothing to nothing to be upset about. But it looks like you found another gear in the playoffs. Is that safe to say? And if so, how? Dude, yeah, I would I would think that our, our leaders started to take a bigger role of the team. Mm -hmm. Like instead of just playing football, like we it became like our mm -hmm. our life. Like this game means so much to us. It's, it's not even like exaggerated. So we really took control of it. The whole team started to buy in, and I, I think everyone just started to get a lot more motivation and care a lot more. When you two are in the backfield, who's thunder, who's lightning? I think Which I is think the I'm, stronger, no, 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 no. better pause, runner. Pause. I'm, I'm thunder because I'm like the sound of it coming, and I w pave the way, and then lightning comes through. Okay. Like you good that. with that? Yeah, yeah. Right. You're good with that? Okay. But you hear thunder first, right, before the yeah, lightning. You hear okay, my, you then hear my block, thunder, and then, then the lightning thunder. strikes. <laughs> then I'm the lightning strike, yeah. I can see why you guys get along. Yeah. Owen, oh, Saskatchewan football is relatively small compared to some other provinces. Yeah. So what, where I'm getting is you guys know the Miller guys. You guys have probably played Canada Cup team, and I don't want to repeat how that turned out this year. Uh, you got the gold medal, but still. Yeah. Is it tough playing against guys you know and, and maybe you know maybe your friends away from the football field or does it all go out the window when, when, when you step between the lines I mean yeah I, I'm friends with a bunch of people on the team I'll see them outside and I'll be super happy and to see them and I see my parties and stuff and but yeah on the field there is none of that I'm, no, I'm not friends with any of those guys on the field you know you might in the captain's thing you might say like oh yeah have a good game but mm -hmm. when you go back to your sideline it gets game time it's the boldest football it's, and I'm doing everything for my team, nothing for, oh, that guy's my friend. I can't hit him that hard. It's, mm. it's for the team. It's for the win. Eric, uh, I was checking the stats earlier today. You had, I think, something like two carries this year for 50 yards. I'm going to go out on a limb and say you're yeah. the jet sweep guy. No, I'm just like... That's me. Oh! <laughs> yeah, I just, I don't know. I'm a bit of a change of pace, you know? Mm -hmm. They, um, yeah, they sub him in and he goes crazy. He's like, I'll like get out and I'll be like, okay, Eric goes in for me in like the fourth quarter and he's running 60 yards down the sideline for a touchdown. Yeah, Talk about he, waiting for a shot. Holy yeah. What do you prefer though? Do you prefer playing defense? I way prefer playing defense, you know. I feel like defense is like more reactive. You get to think more on the fly, you know. But offense, I don't know, it's fun. It's fun to take the ball to the house. It's been the highlight of the season so far. Like, I'm assuming, you're hoping, it's still to come, but what's been the best yeah. part so far? Dude, I would just say, like, being with my boys. Like, it's senior season, so, like, obviously, we need to win. And we're, we're at the place where we want to be, but the journey here, like, just bonding, like, these are memories I'm never going to forget. Mm -hmm. Like, I've known Owen and Eric for, who oh God, I don't know, eight years. Fun fact, I've never played a down of football against Owen. Oh. Been on his team for the last nine years oh. of my life. So, like, not even Spring League. Yeah, not spring league been drafted on the same team every year. Crazy. So I think, like, just to end it off mm -hmm. and, like, be with the season together and be leaders together and just, yeah, like, bleeding, sweating, and crying together. Like, it's, it's been a journey, and I love it. We're out of time. I was going to ask you guys what you're doing uh, post-grade 12, but I'm pretty sure uh, football will be a part of it regardless. So yes, look sir. forward to that. Look forward to seeing you guys in the city final. Good luck. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Thank you, guys. Here we are with the Miller Marauders, just wrapping up another practice in uh, City Championship Week. We have four key members of the squad, and uh, we'll jump right into it. Head coach Jason Ducek is here, no stranger to the program, although first time wearing a Miller Marauders uh, gear on this show. Uh, let's talk about that. How, do, how does this run that the Marauders are on compared to your previous success with O'Neill back in the day? Well, this is my 28th year of coaching high school football, and... Uh, I had the opportunity to come back to where I went to school. I, I'm an alumni of Miller. I graduated in 88 and never actually thought I'd have the opportunity to come back to Miller and, and be that. And when they came to me with the opportunity that I could do this, I jumped at it and uh, came from O'Neill to Miller. Let's talk to QB1. Mr. Vindevogel, uh, what are you anticipating from uh, Labolas? Obviously, you know those guys. You probably play with those guys in the summer a lot in Canada Cup, that sort of thing. What do you anticipate? Uh, they're going to come out aggressive. Um, we know that. We know that they got some dogs on the field, but we do too, and we're just ready to match up against them. What about you guys? What do you do well? Uh, I mean, the easy answer is, well, pretty much everything, but uh, what's, uh, what's the strong suit of your offense? I think the, our strength is our balance, you know. Like, you can stop the run, but then we'll just pass over top. You can stop the pass. We'll just run it on you. You have no weakness right there. What about you? Uh, prepared to sling it, prepared to run it, prepared to do whatever? I'm ready for anything. I'm just, whatever the game plan entails, I'm ready for it. Probably a key to success is following the big man here and yeah. among others on uh, the O-line. Emmett, let's talk about uh, that O-line. You guys are huge. 
<laughs> I, there's no. I'm just going to cut right to the chase. You guys got a big O line. What's it like knowing that uh, you can go out and, depending on the opponent, probably any opponent, you can physically dominate if you want to. Uh, it's definitely just about trust between your brothers. I mean, uh, five guys out there, you know, you have to be on the same page every play. So I think the trust we built between each other, especially playing together for so long, I think is just very special. And we're able to go out there and know the other guy beside us is going to do his job and his best effort to make our team successful. You guys lost a person that people were saying is probably the best high school running back in the country in uh, in the offseason, a very unfortunate accident. Having said that, the guys that filled in seem to fill in quite nicely. Are, are you confident that whoever lines up back there, you can open holes for them? Definitely. I think especially with, uh, you know, the amount of depth we have in our backfield, I think it's we're very capable of putting whoever there and uh, blocking for them and just being able to get some successful runs pulled together. I know the answer to this, but I'll ask anyway. What's more fun, run blocking or pass blocking? Run blocking for sure. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. When do you know you have an opponent? In other words, uh, guy lines up for you. I don't know. Do you line up inside or outside? Inside. Okay. When do you know like a three tech or even a one tech, you've got them. You've got them beat. Uh, it comes down to just pounding them over and over again and just uh, being able to run the ball and uh, six, like just over and over run it over them. So it's just it's a great feeling when we know that we can continue to do that all the game and you get to practice against probably the best uh, D line in the city if not the province uh, does that help absolutely yeah uh, it's just very competitive when we get uh, some plays against each other there's there's lots of talk but it's all love and uh, we're able to play against a really good defense so this helps us a lot prepare let's talk to one of the members of that really good defense Carlos uh, tell us about the season you guys have had I mean obviously things have gone real well you haven't given up a lot of points um, what can you say about the, the play of the defense and the team in general? It's just, it's as he's referred to it, brotherhood. It's, we all trust each other. you got to have that bond. you got to know that the guy behind you and besides you has got your back, and that's something we've em emphasized at practice all the time. It's a goal of ours to be able to trust each other fully. Standard question for all grade 12s. Plan for next year, or are you waiting to see what happens? Uh, I'm still waiting to see. I've got people to talk to. It's still a great time, though. Uh, we'll work our way over. Emmett, plan for next year? Uh, continue to play football, wherever that might be. Yeah. So, still a decision to be made, though, of course. Got some options on the table that you don't have to tell us about, but you got some options on the table. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Nice. Brady, I'm assuming you have a couple options as well. Uh, do you have a plan for next year? Are you going to wait, and uh, is there a timeline for a decision? Um, I think I do, but, you know, right now I'm just living in the moment, enjoying my time in grade 12 with the guys. Well, congratulations. Great season so far, and uh, best of luck this week. Thank you very much. Welcome back to the second half of the 6A City Final featuring the Lomoldus Golden Suns and the Miller Marauders. Uh, with you for the second half again, myself, Rob Pine, and my co-commentator, Coach Brandon Brooks. Here we go. You know, Coach, I think Miller's going to make the second half adjustments and going to come out. They're going to come out firing hard. They're going to give us their best drive of the night coming out for this uh, uh, third quarter here. So the boat has got to be ready. They got to be ready because they want to get their best punch right away. Well, uh, we sure saw what I would say was a conservatively played uh, first half. Big time, big time, yep. Uh, like most of the passing were hitch passes, uh, backside screen passes, right. shovel passes. Yep. There wasn't that much being thrown downfield. Right. It seems like guys are, are playing to uh, not lose instead of playing to win, but it's the second half. Now you got to let it out. You got to put gas pedal down. Yeah, this was a half. Uh, the first half was a half of missed opportunity for the uh, Golden Sun. They had the ball uh, in, right. in in the uh, scoring territory or at least on the Miller side of the field for a yeah. good portion of the time. And they just could never get over that 45 yard line, right? But, yeah. And they were very conservative at the end of the second there by taking those knees. I just, I don't understand that. Well, they must have a strategy in mind. Right. <laughs> but to start the second half, I believe Miller will be receiving the ball. Yep. So see if they can get their offense on track right away. Right. It'll be a whole different ball game now. If you take some chances and maybe get in field goal position, get a field goal, you up 
That's a different ball game, but hey, we'll never know now. No. We'll never know. What? Miller, uh, I think, will probably come out and just try and run that uh, ground game they have. They've got such a good offensive line. But they do. The Boldus has been holding them in check for the most part. Yep. But we're getting ready here for the uh, for the kickoff. Yep. I think Miller's going to just take it to them in the run game now with their uh, with, with their all Canadian all uh, offensive linemen there. Just let those boys lead away. Yeah, well, we've got Miguel Arruda getting ready to kick. Oh, oh. I knew it. Uh, it didn't <laughs> work out. With, they went for the short kick again. They they tried a short kick after yeah. they uh, they scored, and now they're trying it again. You know, the reason I don't like that call is because your defense has been playing solid all night. And I think this is the first time that Miller has crossed the center field, Coach, has been across the center field tonight. I, I, I believe yeah. so. Yeah, they're starting at the uh, yep. Golden Suns 52-yard line. First, yeah, so... Uh, okay, so, let's see. Let's see. Let's see if they open things up a bit. Back to pass right away. Out there to the go. flat. Yeah. That's the why a nice nice yep, uh, great, tackle there. Yep, good good tackle. Yeah. Yeah, that was a short gain. It was uh wrapped up right away there by Jack Dolan, who's yep. had a pretty good game so far. Yep, good good tackle. Yeah, he had some room to the outside but came back inside. Well, did get six yards. So we'll see where they go oh, yeah, to they, now. I think they're about to run that football now. Yeah, there's oh, that yeah. stretch outside. And I well, think he might have got he might have got one or two yards. Yeah, there. maybe two. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna bring up third down. Well we got here, somebody's on the ground. Oh yeah, we have a a golden sun down on the field. I think that's young go. I think that's young go stone a grade nine. What happens here? Oh yeah, he probably got a knee to the stomach. That happens. Yeah, it's it's number uh, thirty eight. They made the tackle there. That's Nick, yeah. Nick Goldstone, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's not often you see a, a grade nine start on a team uh, uh, the caliber of the Golden Sun. Right. They, uh, I think the last grade nine that I see start for them was, uh, was uh, well, he was a grade nine going to grade 10. That was yeah. Nick Cross. He, did, yeah. he played for us for grade nine. Yeah. So. <laughs> well, they also have a grade nine uh, they're, they're, uh, uh, on offense as well. Yeah. Oh yeah, the, uh, the left Jack guard, Lawrence, that's Jack right. Lawrence. Yeah, yeah, that's a. It's it's not often you see a grade nine. Now, on the Miller Marauders, they start one grade ten, yeah, uh, which is uh, Noah Finkelday, who made that right. nice interception in the first right. half. But they're primarily grade twelves, like eleven grade twelve starters on offense and. Nine grade 12 starters on defense for right, Miller. Right, right. They are a top heavy, strong uh, grade 12 team. Well, they've got a big roster too. It's tough to work into a uh, starting spot. They've got a 60, uh, 60 man roster. Yeah, oh, he's limping. Yeah, he is. I thought maybe he knocked the wind out of himself, but here we go, third and two. I say, yep, yeah, third and two ish. Yep. Well, I'm sure they're going for it. Yeah, they've got a uh, couple of extra linemen checked in. And he's not walking off the field that fast, is he? Here we go. Yeah, he's finally made it off the field. Get the play whistled in here. So third and two, Is quarterback sneak? No. He's got it. He got it. Yeah. Yeah, he, 
no doubt there about a first yeah. down. <laughs> I just, I just keep, I, that's what I'm saying. I just keep Jack giving McLeod. I just keep giving them a daily dose of uh, of, of that of that offensive line there, and just keep running into they stop it. You know, there's nothing wrong with a good four yard gain every down. <laughs> yeah, well, especially on third down uh, yeah. when uh, the defense is all tightened in there. Right. There you go. That, that was designed to go outside. It yeah. looks like it's going up the middle, but it's really designed to go to the outside. Right. 61 checked in as a tight end, too, so they didn't want to make sure to seal that edge pretty good by having that extra lineman out there. And he did the job, yeah, too. He did. He did the job. And he could have had more. He just sort of slipped and fell right. down on his own, making the cut. So it brings up second and two. Yep. Keep doing it. Run between those tackles. Inside zone. Let your running back pick his poison. There's that outside uh, stretch doing. play again. Yep. Oh, did he fumble? Did he fumble? Oh, he fumbled. Oh, my <laughs> oh, God. My goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. The boldest fall. Man. Yeah, they've sealed that edge really well, and then oh no, oh, oh yeah. great play! <laughs> Just stripped out. I think uh, yeah. Was that number twenty-two got his hand no, on that ball. No, I think it was number ten who stripped it and recovered it. I think that was Eric Weed. Man, what a great play! Yeah, he just reached out and pulled the ball out. Now Leboldis is missing a player on the oh, field. Oh come on, guys! Five, time out. No, they got him out. They got him out there. But they only got two seconds left on the time clock flag. Yeah. They didn't want to burn a timeout uh. Uh, in the first couple of minutes of the half. Yeah. Time count violation, 26 Leboldis. Uh. Five yard penalty, repeat first down. Kids get excited. They forget who's supposed to they be do. out there. They do, yep, they do. But I think that was wise to take that penalty rather than burn Burned a timeout. Time so yeah. timeouts are so valuable. They are. It's early, early in the second half. So first and 15 as opposed to first and 10. And oh boy. Oh, that looked like a oh, hold on. He can, run, he can run too, coach. He can run. <laughs> oh, he reversed that field. Well, he got the, almost the five yards back. Yeah. He should have had nothing. Every time the Lobota Center uh, snapped him. I uh, thought he was going to pitch it here, but right. no. Every time the Lobota Center snapped that ball, I hold my breath. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. hold my breath. He worked hard to get those yards back. He did. Brings up second and 11 now. Who is the center for Labordas? What's number 56 name here? That's young uh, Noah, Noah Baker. Baker. Yep. Keep snapping though, Noah. Keep snapping, buddy. Okay, there's that counter play. And he uh, might he's got shy. It. No, he's short by quite a bit. Punt the ball, coach. There yeah. you go. Now he's short by five yards. Ooh, I don't know. That was kind of a bad spot, huh? Uh, yes, no, no, on the 30, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, 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 just spot. Well, they're gonna have to punt the ball away here. Good snap. Yeah, well. You need a good snap. They've had pretty good snaps yeah. in the punts so far. It's nice. And no pressure. Gets a little better kick away. And that's, this time it actually bounces forward rather than coming back. And nice good tackle. Coverage. Good there. coverage. Yeah, nice tackle. Great coverage. So that's going to bring up first down on about their own 45 yep. yard line. But if I'm Miller, yeah. if I'm Miller, 
I'd go right back to running the football yeah, again. Yeah, I would too. You had a bad break with that fumble, but hey, you know, you got something there, right? Go right back to it. They were moving the ball down the field. They were, yep. Well, they've got the offense uh, the spread out here. And play action. Uh, yeah. And he is and going he's to wide open. Oh, oh, no. Oh, right on the money. Mm, mm, yeah, mm, that, mm. that went right through the hands Coincidence. there. Coincidence, yeah. 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 If they don't if they don't win this game, the young man's gonna think about that play for a long time. Yeah, he had lots of time, nicely throwing ball and uh, Jay. Was it a little overthrown or was it was it no, in his radius? No, it yeah, was he right could have got it. He could have yeah. got it, yep. Yeah. yeah, you hate to see a yep. ball like that dropped. It was a well designed play. Yep. Yeah, Lamoda's got away with one right there. Trips. Yeah, that had touchdown written all over it. That trips on the bottom here. Back to pass and interception. Oh, oh, interception. Just overthrew an open receiver yep. right into the arms of the defensive yep. back standing back there. Yep. Vayrance Munaway. Yeah. Vayrance Munaway. Yeah. That's a football name right there. <laughs> Vayrance. I see you, Vayrance. Name back yep. there. Yep. That snuffs out another uh, offensive series for Miller. And Labotis is back on their 45 again. Yeah. Let's see if they can get to the other 45. It's two series this half for Miller and two yep. turnovers. Right. Turnovers will kill you. They are bound yep. and determined to run that counter. They are. They are. We got to hold it. Yeah. Yep. Ah, they could just can't. They could, they, they could. They could decline that because I think he lost. I think he lost yards in that run. Or did he gain? Uh, I think he might have gained a yard. A yard. Placing the football. <laughs> I wonder what happened with the ball. The one officials carrying the ball off the field. Holding. Number 42, Lebolis, 10 yard penalty, repeat first down. Do we have a ball replace? Well, they're running that ball off the field. Uh, man, I know we're not about to pause the game away for a football. Yeah, something. I don't know what the problem is with the football. Yeah, look, at you can see the. The boat is breaking. <laughs> yeah, Ma Mazer br broke the football. <laughs> Come on, man. We don't got. <laughs> They don't got a bag of footballs on the uh, side. This is not like the CFL and nope. the uh, NFL where balls are being run in a new football every right. play, right? Right, okay, here we go. Uh, right. Here comes there, the there, referee. There's Mike Patterson the... running out with the ball right now in good form. Yeah, yeah, he's hustling the ball in. Yeah. So cold, yeah. and the ball, someone fell on the ball, it and it just popped. It, popped, yeah. it was so cold, it was well below zero that, uh, yeah. that day. That was out of Libel Field, if I recall. Uh, yeah. It's the beauty of uh, yep. playing football in Canada it in is, November. Yeah. Doesn't happen in Louisiana. They sure don't. <laughs> anyway, it's first and 20. Yeah, take oh, the county he, rolling under pressure. I'm gonna, uh, oh, 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 what we got? We got a flag. Yeah, going. I think it's a hold, but that was a great job there by uh, Liam LaBelle to prevent the interception. Yeah. He had to play more defense than offense. Holding 55, LaBelle, 10 yard penalty, one. still first down. Well, oh, we're going to have, have a first and 30. First and uh, yeah. just on penalties. Yeah. <laughs> There's not many plays in the playbook for first and third. Sure than that. Spread them out and sling it. They're, they're all the way back to their 25-yard line. They never went back to the play that got them to seven points with Goldstone, eh? No, they haven't thrown the ball downfield through the middle uh, again. To see what they come up with here. They like that power set. And... Yeah, just a outside handoff and uh, nothing do. They are on that. Yeah, they are on I that. I think it's. A, they might have even lost a little bit. Yeah. 
Yeah. Uh-oh, what we got? Someone's down in the pile here. And just that little toss. They've got blockers out now. Everybody just slow to get up. Now, this is even more difficult now. Second and 30. I think LeBeau is just going to try to play some field position here and maybe get a good... Well, they got to throw the ball. I mean, even if you get 10 yards, you're, <laughs> you're only going to be at your own 35-yard line. Well, they're going to toss it outside yep. to the wide side this time. And that was... Oh, he fumbled it. Oh, oh no. a scoop and That's score. That's what you didn't need right there. Oh, no, that wasn't... Was, hey. That was picked up there by number nine, right? Yep. That was... Uh, Ty Briere. Yep. One hey. of the grade 12 defensive backs. What a turnaround. You know, that's, that's, um, uh, yep. That's unfortunate. Yeah, he's just carrying the ball that's a little loosely there. And the number one team. Out. You're the number one team in the country. You go find ways to try to, to get yourself back into this football game. In order for you to be a team of this caliber, you got to take it to them at every play. And I'm not saying LeBoldis is not doing that. It's just that, you know, they had some chances in the first half to extend this lead that they didn't take advantage of. And now here we are, tied up. Yeah, I know. I'm a turnover. And the convert is good. And we're yep. going to have a tie game. Tie now. ball game. Off of a yeah. scoop and score. Yeah, just... Ball security, right? Right. Now it's anyone's ball game. It's anyone's ball game. Well, you've got to think that momentum is right now on Miller's side. And you know what? For, 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 for Miller now, they can play a little loose now, right? They can play a little bit more freely and maybe open up their playbook more because the game's basically 0-0 zero, zero now, yeah. right? Yeah. I think that ball was stripped out by uh, number 38 there, uh, J Jackson Grace. He's been all over the field, that little yeah. dude, right? Yeah. Good for him. Uh, well, now, now we're going to see what uh, Leboldis can do. Can they answer back to this, eh? They better. They have to answer back right away. This drive, they got to go back down there and they got to do something where they need to get a field yeah. goal or a score because the momentum is on Miller's side. Yeah. We've already had three turnovers in this quarter. Right, yeah. Man, that's how, that, 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 that's football though, right? Special team turnovers, you just gotta be, you gotta be prepared for those. It almost looks like the way they're lining up, they're expecting to, uh, Miller to short kick the ball. Yeah, what I'm talking about, special team turnovers, that was on a, I believe that was on a run, right? When he yeah. was from that last play? Yeah, yeah I'm tripping. No, just an outside run. <laughs> Excuse yeah. me, uh, uh, people watching. I'm just, I just had a little brain fart there. I'm an old coach now. I'm getting up there. I'm 42 years old. So. Oh, ancient. <laughs> yeah. And. Oh, look at that. Oh, there it is. They're running down oh, that field yeah. hard now. Oh, yep. good job of catching the ball above his head. Oh, he got he something. Found, found oh, stay space. to the outside. Fumbled it. Oh, oh, here we go, coach. No. It's about to get out of hand. Hey, it's, 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 about, it's about to get out of hand now. That ball. Yeah. That was number nine again. That was number nine he again. Yeah. Recovered yep. the ball. Ty Briere. Yeah. And there's a player down. Is that number 27? I think that was 20. I think that's 27. Joe Patterson. Yep. Mm. Yeah, nice solid tackle there by, uh, who was it, 25 made the tackle and yeah. then the ball popped out. Yeah. Cohen Petrina. Mm. And he's still down on the field. Yeah, hopefully the young man's okay. Yeah. Boy, if things ever turned around quickly. Hey, you know, like M Miller's one of those teams, you know, once they sense blood, they get after it, right? You know, they, they're a tough, hard-nosed football team. 
that's not undefeated for, 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 for you know by by luck. You know they, they they got some of the best talent this scene have seen in a long the city have seen in a long time. So and being attended to. We thought uh, oh. we thought Miller was going to have to come out and open up uh, the playbook and start stop being so conservative. Right. But that only they threw the first play of the half was a pass and yep. then it's just been on the ground since then. Yep, and creating turnovers. And creating turnovers. Creating turnovers. Yeah, so critical. Well, he's semi walking. Maybe he's concussed, right? Yeah, I don't well, know. Hopefully, he's okay. Yeah, he's walking okay, but uh, well, we'll hope that he is okay. Right. That he can get back into the game. That seems a little shaken up right now. Yeah. We've got Miller already out over the ball. They're anxious and ready to go. They're ready to go. Yeah, they're ready to get. They're ready to get after it. Yeah. Crowds into it now too. Miller has no end though. Is 61 checking in? Yeah, I, I believe I saw. Uh, Did he check uh, in? Yeah, I saw him put his hand up. And there's that outside run. They like going. Hey, good pursuit. To their right, but yeah, yeah. not much there. Only a couple of yards. Pretty well defense that time, but that's where they've been going to the yeah. defensive left of Lobolis. Oh, and that defensive end went in too. Yeah. He got folded inside. Yeah. But good job by young Ghost on uh, to to uh, to attack that edge and force that run back inside there. He's played a good game that young uh, that young grade nine there that Nixon Ghost on. And he's going to be there for three more three years. Three more years. So yep. Yeah. One can only imagine how good he might be by then. Oh, I think there was some. Uh, no, I thought there yeah. was early motion on the D yeah. line, but. No one, no flags came out. Yeah. A few tough yards there. It's going to bring up uh, third down. Are they going to field goal, do you think? Uh, I think they're going. They, I, think, I think they're going. QB still in there. Well, he is the punter, but they're not going to punt from the... Uh, oh, no, they no, field they goal. It's a field goal. Ah, uh, that's a fake. <laughs> no. A hundred percent is, unless unless this kid's a, a decent kicker. But he does have the soccer shoes on, so maybe he got a leg. Yeah, the kicker there was, that's number 25, uh, Petrina. Oh. Time count. Time count. That's going to move, move them back. Number 12, five. Miller. Five yard penalty. Still third down. 33 yard kick now. 32 yard kick. Oh, no. It's going to be closer to 40. To 40? Oh, yeah. I that's right. I think they're probably going to punt it now. Yeah, it would have been, oh, yeah. Third, yeah, you're right. been a you're 39 right. yard field goal. Yeah, you're right. So I think they're just punting it. Maybe going to try and punt it out of bounds inside the 10 yard line. You don't want to punt it into the end zone. Uh, I don't think because if he gets it out past the goal line, they're going to get the ball at the 20. So true. You, you're really only going to net out about 11 or 12 yards. <laughs> now let's see what he's doing here. Yeah, he's going for the corner there. Oh, didn't. Oh. <laughs> Uh, he was, I, I, I think he was onside. They're, they're calling for no yards, but I think 55 was uh, onside. Either that or he yeah. thought the ball had been touched. We'll have to, uh, have to check the replay. Yeah, hopefully get a look at the replay. Now, the question is, did the ball get touched by the returner uh, along the sidelines? Right. Oh, yeah, no yards. It was 55. No, nobody was no, onside. No one's what onside. What that kid was thinking then? I thought well, maybe he had been onside. He must have thought that Mazer touched the ball. Yeah. Did he touch it right there? So. 
They're... So we're gonna have first down for Going the Bulldogs. Number 55, Miller. That 15 yard penalty applied from the 10 yard line. 15, 15 yards. yard penalty. First down, no single point. No single point. Nope. 15 it, yard penalty. Eh? From the 10 yard line. Jesus. <laughs> so, I learned something new today. So if you give a no yards in the end zone, it's a 15 yarder, because I thought a no yards penalty was actually what? I thought it was just five yards, right? I didn't know New York was a 15 yard. Yeah, the ball was on the ground. I'm not really, maybe in the end zone, the rule is different. Maybe it's, yeah, it's different. Because if you get a no yards penalty, like in, like, you know, how we always get young Grace and Natamang and always get no yards. I thought it was just a five yard penalty. Yeah, on the ground, because yeah. the ball was on the ground. Yeah. Well, we learned something today. Yeah, well. So the, that was, uh, they netted out on that punt less than 10 yards. Yeah. <laughs> so there's the, there's the pitch. That's actually a yeah. good play. Oh, oh, oh he just got him. He could have broke, broke it. Yeah, close to a first down. He just about broke it there. Got him by the ankle. Yeah. He's running that option, but you know, if 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 uh, if uh, Monsanto Bumbumbo, if he was more aggressive in attacking that line of scrimmage, playing quarterback, yeah. that option would really uh, open up, right? Yeah. Well, it's but it was a well-run play. And it was second and one. It was, yeah. They dodged a bullet on the uh, last turnover. Now maybe can they get something going on offense? Looks like they're all hungering down. Ooh. Oh, he got it, he got it, he got it. Where are they gonna spot it? No. Third down? Yeah. Yeah. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, he got yeah. knocked down before he got to the 35-yard uh, line. Yeah. If, I'm, if I'm the old line coach right now, I'm screaming my ears off, telling him to bite down in that mouth guard and chug ahead. Don't try nothing cute. It's an inch. Oh, oh no! <laughs> oh my goodness! Turnover after turnover oh, after turnover. Oh my God. How does that happen? Oh my God. Oh my God. Let's see if we can. Well, you know, yeah, a kid, you I don't know, think you know, I don't think the ball hey, ever got up into his hands. Listen, when a kid don't play quarterback that often, the QB center exchange is tough. Yeah, it is a tough thing to do, you know, and a lot of people don't understand that you just can't put anybody in the court uh, under the center and think that that exchange is going to be clean. Yeah. I, I don't think the ball ever got up to his hands. I right. think uh, the center might have lost control of it as he right. was bringing the ball up. Well, one thing about center, because I played center in high school, one thing that I've always used to tell my quarterback when I played ball, I have to be able to feel your hands. Yeah. Right, and if you know you, you you're, you're calling the snap count, I can't feel your hands. I snap it. If your hands not there, not my fault. Yeah, that was Marcus <laughs> Adams Jr. with the carry. Oh yeah, MJ. Oh yeah, he's yeah. out there. Yep, 44. Yeah, number 44. That's his first carry of the game. All right, let's see what you got, MJ. We all know uh, Chunky Adams. Uh, yep, that's his former boy. Former Ryder player. This is his son, grade nine. A little fake and throwing the ball up and just throwing it away. Yep. Take the field goal. Yeah, that was probably the wise move. Just throw it away. Third and seven. And have the call for the field goal again. Last time they got a uh, delay of game penalty. Right. Took them out of field goal range. <laughs> this time it's going to be a lot closer. Going to be about 20, 28 yards. Right. And Cohen Petrina is their kicker. Yeah. He has the shoes for kicking the hole. Let's see if he's uh, 
Well, that's right down the middle there. It should be an easy kick. But you never know. Yeah. See how much good snap, good kick, and it's it. good. You got it. Yeah, that was uh, the last <laughs> play of the third quarter. Uh, Miller takes the lead 10 to 3 on that field goal. Man, it must be American Thanksgiving early because Miller is getting all the gifts that they could and all the treats that they could get. Halloween is how it was. Halloween treats, they getting all the treats right now. Miller, great field position, great uh, great everything this half, man. And Labotis is just giving it to him, you know. That's that's three turnovers by Labotis. Three Lebotis. turnovers. And one yep. by Miller in the quarter. Yep. Not not yep. a very well played quarter. Yep, they giving him a turkey, they stuffing, they giving him everything, man. Like, come on. But they still could go down and do something. 10-7. They get the ball on the 35 here. Yeah, they're just going to take the take the ball, not e not elect to have it kicked to them. Yeah. So three points down now. Let's see what they do. They've been going. They've been really trying to attack the edges and hit that counter. Let's see if they're going to come out of that and go more spread now. It yeah. seems like they are. Yeah. We've got three receivers to the right. Yeah. And a little motion to the right, motion to the left, and there's just that boundary side handoff yeah. again. And I, Mazer's and, got about two right. yards, and that's and, it. And I get it, right? Owen Mazer's is their guy. And they're probably thinking, you know, if we just stay in the game, he'll eventually break one, right? But. We're going against a tough defense. They so are. Try and do that. Uh, yeah, he was the leading rusher in the league. Right. But he wasn't playing against the Miller defense every game. Right, right. Yep, you stop the play, you gotta get out the field. Well, you were on the ground, buddy. You stopped the play. 55 is arguing with the ref. He was on the ground. If the ref stopped the play, and he got to come out the game. Yeah, yeah, that's the rule there. That's the rule. That's Nitro Ice Hannah. Yep, you got to come out the game. Yep. So we're second and eight. Looks like a pass. Back to pass, right back to takes. Oh, he just throwing it away now. That was just yeah, he just threw it. There was nothing there. That was nothing there. What was that about? And intercepted. So that's the fourth turnover of the of the half now yeah. by by Lebolis. And someone's down. He's still holding on to the ball. The guy that the kid that caught the interception. I think that was Ty Briere again. He is the MVP of the game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's just. Yep, he's the MVP of the game. Turnovers. Uh oh. Losing him is big, though, because he's been their ball hawk all night. Yeah. Yeah, he's not putting any weight on the yep. right leg at all as he goes off the field. So. I don't know what happened there. Couldn't really tell uh, right. in, the, in, in the replay what he did exactly. Hopefully nothing serious. Right. Well, you know, Miller's beginning their blessings. Labotis, you got to try to go for yours. Not you got to try to create some turnovers yourself. There were four men back there to defend uh, the receiver. Right. There was nothing. That was Goldstone, I think, that they were trying to throw the ball again. To. Yeah. They, they got caught on at once. They had four guys on gold stones. I wonder how many guys they had on other guys. <laughs> uh, just a little inside run play. And gain of about three yards there. That was uh, number uh, 11, Brady Wolf. Yeah. And there's a shot of the trophy. Okay. Winner will be awarded that at the end of the game. Back to pass. Oh, 
out to the flat and uh, wrap oh, up. Oh, did he get the ball back? Was that turnover? Oh, here we go. That's what they needed. He stole it right out of the That's receiver's arms. That's what they needed. Arms. That's what they needed, coach. Took it right out of the receiver's yep. arms. Jack Great Dolan. play by Jack Dolan. Great huh? play. There's the ball. Good completion. And he just ripped it out of Great his play. arms. My goodness. He you got to hold on to that ball. He just Tanner. tore the ball away. Was that Tanner Donovan? Tanner Donovan, yeah. Tore the ball away from. Yep. Great play, though. Oh, Great play. man. Okay. It's been a it's been a fight though. It, 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 it's been a nice physical, uh, old school football game, but by two pretty good teams. Not, not there's, a, there's a little different version of the counter, but he took a bit of a bit of a punishment right. there. They're, they're just not having much success with that. Well, they're not setting up their counters, like you know you're running that counter, but like you like yeah. everybody knows it's going to thirty. Yeah. Like, uh oh, LaBelle's hurt now. Right, Re Reinhardt uh, made the tackle on the play. They're just. Yeah, LaBelle's hurt. Playing both ways, man. Where, where is he going? He's just running off the field. Maybe trying to run it off. No, I think he's running right to the locker room. That's a big loss if he can't come back. That's a huge well, he's loss. He's just run right into the tunnel. Yeah. That's a huge loss if he can't come back. Well, the play action and then nothing, uh, nothing, nothing there. there at all. Hand off to Goldstone there. And there's just nothing. That Miller defense not giving him anything. Now you got to go for it. It's too late for all the punting and stuff. Now you got to go. Well, there's still there's still a lot of time well, left. Eight, and just, half, coach, eight minutes, 40 seconds. Coach, I just seen somebody throw out a field goal platform out there. No. 67 have it in his hand. I don't think so. I that, just seen somebody throw out a field a goal platform out 57 there. 57 yard field goal. Oh, okay. Ooh, Holy man! We like is this just setting? Forty number forty is Evan Anderson. Forty number forty is Evan Anderson. Let's see. This is fifty-two yards. Forty-three, forty-three. Miguel Arruda. Okay. Oh, and then it's a. And they're on side. They're on side, right? Well, this is kind of a sneaky play, isn't it? But they sure didn't get downfield very fast. But no, frequently they got wheels though. He got to the outside. It's going to be Roy. Great yep. run back. Yep. They're outside the 30 yard line. Right. That was a nice setup. Yeah, it was, that a, was nice, a nice setup. That yeah. was a nice setup for punt. But got, they didn't get anyone down the field to cover right, it. Right. We got to take notes on that one. <laughs> <laughs> well, who thought there would be a 52 yard field goal? Right. Had me fooled. I was like, okay. But you got to cover. Yeah, the tackles and picked yeah. up an extra 10 yards from there. So that was a disappointing end to that series. And no Leon LaBelle to, to, uh, right now, too. So, whew, man. Uh, but yeah, great ooh, play. didn't need him there. That was an excellent play there. That was number 57, Gavin Ma Mazink. Mazink, yeah, Mazink. Yeah, yeah. Mazink. Yeah. Great play. Yeah. Boom. Just from his tackle position, uh, yeah, 63, just couldn't uh, get a block on him. Yep. So, second and 10. I got to salute LeBotis' defense, though, because they played they, they played lights out tonight. Yeah. They sure did. They could keep their head up high. You got four receivers up high, and there's a little counter-type action. Found a bit of a hole. And still go tackles, and that's a gain of about uh, 12 yards for yeah. first down. Nice bit of running I, there. I think I think Goldstone had him in the hole, but he kind of just pulled up. If you look right yeah. here, he had him, boom, boom, and he just got uh, his, he, oh, he, he ran into he his, ran his, his own player. player. Oh, man. That's just yeah. unfortunate. Yeah, that's. Yeah. 
Well, brings up first down. Going to stick with their running game now. Yeah. Yeah. And that's another first down, I think. Six minutes left in the game. Stick another with 10 it. yards. Yep. Yeah, I think this is going to be the ground and pound now. Yep. And Braden Wolf with uh, about 11 yards on the carry. LaBelle is back. Comes Miller out over the ball. Just over the center field. Uh, oh. oh, he slipped and, and he still slipped. kept still going. Got, still got something, yeah. Yeah, he got five yards. I thought he was going to hit the ground uh, right at the line of scrimmage. Great job of keeping his balance. Yeah, right there, got his hand down. Oh, is he all right? I think uh, physically, this uh, Miller offensive line is starting to take its toll on that front seven of the Bulls. Because, you know, this is what happened in offense, right? Oh, oh here we go. Oh, gee. Oh, oh, hey, let me take those words back. Yeah, and oh, and that's Liam LaBelle, but yeah. he's really not feeling well is he if that play don't inspire you boys your offense to do something you gotta come on yeah he's, he's playing lights out boom he took a helmet right in the stomach right in the there stomach. on the tackle but that's a big loss that's a big loss yeah yeah it's third and 11 now so, yeah he's coming off uh, labelle's coming off the field and he is not feeling that well yeah. He might need to take a breather for this series. He's been, he's been playing both ways the entire game, right? A lot of these boys, Goldstone, uh, Reinhardt, and all those boys playing both ways. Yeah, it's, it's, both a, teams, it's a tough physical game, too, to be playing both ways. Yeah. Well, three of the uh, Miller left. Oh, there's some good running. All the way out past the 35 to about the 36-yard line. Four minutes left, down by three. What you go do, coach? Well, I think they've got to open up a little bit. Yeah. They tried to, and the quarterback threw it straight to the guys yeah. in blue, so. <laughs> well, there's got to be someone else other than Goldstone to throw the ball to. Yeah. <laughs> For sure, 100%. <laughs> That's what I'd be looking to do. But. There's that outside toss, uh, oh. and he's going to look him to throw. I think, he there. Got, I think he got something there. Great job of avoiding the pressure in the backfield. Because he had nothing downfield. Yeah. No, you can see the way he's holding the ball, right? He yeah. wanted to throw it, got pressured, and then just decided to take off with it, made a guy miss, kept on his feet. That was a good decision not to throw. It was, it was, yeah. We got a first down. But they opened it up a bit, right? They did, yeah. <laughs> Great things happen when you go open it up a little bit. They have no choice now, though. No. Uh oh, he got something. Yeah. There you go. Down to the 40 yard line. And that was all on Goldstone. It Great was. decision to cut back. I gotta say, I gotta say one thing about these uh, grade 12 uh, seniors for the boat is Goldstone and that was a nice block made by the quarterback. Yep. <laughs> nice block that sprung him. Yep. Mazer, Goldstone, and uh, Labelle are playing a hell of a game, man. They're trying to keep their team in it. A little toss to the boundary side and oh, oh, here oh. we go. One, one got to beat. Oh, here we go, coach. Okay. Oh, oh he's down inside the 15 yard line. Well, hey. certainly in field goal range. <laughs> listen, listen. That's a nice bit of running. All you you sports schools out there, you better be, hey, you better be headed to Regina to talk to this young man right here. Because he is running that route tonight. Owen Mazer. 
Watch this. Oh, yeah. get out. Oh, man. Yeah. yeah. Owens Huddle is going to be popping this weekend, I tell you that, boy. <laughs> Here we go. But you got to finish, though. Yeah. You got to finish. Yeah, there is. Get away from that now. It's time to get away from that. Yeah. They really like to run it into the boundary. Yeah. It's time to get away from that. Let's yeah. go to something else. They just lost eight yards on that. <laughs> there was nothing there. Nothing there. Great penetration right. by number 61. Now, if you got a counter off that, that's yeah. a counter right there. Yeah. Yeah, we got penetration by number 61 getting upfield, and then number three made the tackle to yeah. Chase Murray, right? Came from his defensive back spot. And so that's a big loss. That's, that's a huge yards. loss. Unless they can get 18 yards, they may have to settle for the field goal. Uh, now he got it. He got it. The wide side. No. Oh, they spread it out. Yeah, they spread yeah. it out. He got back about five or six of those yards. But Coach. Yeah, you got it. We've got to take the three. Got to take the three. Yeah. Here they are. Field goal teams coming on. Yeah. Just too many guys got upfield uh, yeah. too quick. Tight split. Yeah. Make sure you got the right amount of guys. Make sure everybody's count up. Hey. And shift. Yep. See what this young man can do. High snap. High snap. He got that's it. good. Top ball game. <laughs> Top so, ball game. So with two minutes and 17 seconds left, we've got a 10 all game. And the Boulder fans are happy. Back in the game here. Now it's up to the Lebolda's defense. It sure is. They've been playing very well tonight, so. Yeah, he knew he had it right, uh, right away. He knew it was good there with Miguel Arruda with a, a real nice uh, kick there. It's a lot of pressure, you know. It's a lot of pressure, man. yep. <laughs> You're down by three, <coughs> running out of time. Now the pressure falls on Lebolda's defense. defense. They've been balling out tonight, though. They got some dogs on defense, though. They got some. They got some dudes out. So here we go. Okay, they get the crowd into it. It's hype. Play action. Yeah. Nothing Looking there, though. Downfield. Oh, yeah. got it. Yeah. Oh, great tackle. He had three receivers downfield. He found the open one. Yep, the great short tackle. man was open. They had a deep man, a, a mid, a mid route man, yep. and then the, the short, the short yep. route. Nice form tackle yeah. by uh, Jacob Panko there. Mm, beautiful tackle. Yeah. Just a good uh, good decision by Vindavogel, the yeah. quarterback, about which receiver to throw it to. And we're just approaching the two minute mark now. First and ten. And Counter. there's a yeah, a little to they the own side. It they own it. Oh no, yeah. he made something he out of to run a, yeah. He made something out of nothing, yep. Yeah, he got five yards. Initially pretty well defended. Yeah. There's that counter. Yeah. Big play right here. Yeah, Eric Reeve just couldn't get his hands on him. Yeah. It would have been a for no gain, so. Important. Inside zone coming up. Inside zone. Yeah. Oh, they Ooh. stuffed it. Ready they stuffed did. it. He got about a yard. They stuffed it. Yeah, that was huge play by the defense. What you go do, coach? What you go do, coach? Do check. What you go do? They going. Oh, no, no, they punt. They punt. They yeah. punt. They punt. Yeah, he ran into uh, number 57 right there in the middle. They got Gavin Masnick. Don't kick that ball to Mazer. Don't kick that ball to Mazer. Kick that ball out of bounds. <laughs> Cause he's feeling it right now. He's having a hell of a fourth quarter. Don't kick it to him. You know, it'd be see. really sneaky to kick it to the left. Like he's expecting it to come to the right. And at the fielded at the 20. 
Found a bit of space. Oh boy, they, he out. Hey, yeah. he had a he had a good head of steam going down there too. Back up to about the 25, 35 yard line. We've, Who and is we've got a Miller somebody, player somebody down. down there cramping? Yeah. Is down. that Nitro again? Not sure. Yeah, here come the training staff. Yep. Well, he was cramping earlier, and he was complaining about not coming out the game. Yeah, yep, he's cramping. Yeah, I think yep. that's, you right. know, even when it's cold, you've got to make sure you've yep. got enough fluid in your, because uh, yep. you don't realize you're you're uh, perspiring. Right. You back, just, back in my day, we used to drink pickle juice on the sideline. Oh, juice. it was horrible. Yeah. Horrible. I've seen that. <laughs> Big old jugs of pickle juice on the sideline in hot Louisiana weather. Ain't nothing to tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> A sweaty pickle. Sweaty pickle. <laughs> Here we go. Minute 22 left. And the crowd is lit. Yeah. Mosaic is, is a good, good high school football we got going there. Well, there's a throw out to the flat. Yeah, he's got uh, yeah. seven yards probably. If you would have caught that, if you would have caught that and gave him a hitch and busted to the outside, he'd probably still be running. Yeah. But he decided to catch it and come back in. Watch, coach. If he catches this ball and give him one step, one jab step in, boom, jab step yeah. and head out, he would have been gone. But there they put Ma Mazer out of the wide. wide out. receiver, yeah. Yeah, they want to get him the ball because he's, like you said, he's feeling it he's this feeling quarter. It. But I think you're going to have to go to somebody else, though. Cause, cause, cause. Well, they need about two and a half yards. And they're going to throw it out here. Goldstone got something. Block right there. He got something. Oh, yep. he got flipped over the there shoulder of the defender. But that's a huge play. Huge play. Huge first down. They're over center. Here we go. We got a nail biter right here. We do. And there's uh, Mazer making a block. Yep. <laughs> yep. He got flipped over he got the flipped shoulder. Over, yeah, by yeah. Lucas Nation. Yeah, no, Liam Platt. Liam Platt, yeah, yep. sorry. Flipped him over his shoulder. But they're out to center field. There's that boundary toss again. Uh, oh, what a great play. That. What a great play. It's number 38 yep. that has made play after play, Jackson Grace. Right. Yeah, hurt his shoulder maybe? Uh, who knows? Maybe got the wind knocked out of him. Well, he's up on his feet there, but. That lean back right there, yeah, I think he got, I think he got the wind knocked out of him. Yeah. That, hey, that turf is, that, that turf is kind of still not, still, still kind of hard too from uh, the snow that we've had over the past couple of days, so it's hard. Yeah, he took a, a blow to his shoulder, I think. Yeah. You know, he's not very big. He's only 145 pounds. Right. But he makes plays. He does. And they just replaced him with number, I think they replaced him with number three. Well, with uh, Chase Murray. Yeah, Chase Murray. Yeah. Oh, no, he's been out there. I'm trying no, to see if they Chase replaced Murray's him. Chase Murray's been out there. Now we got a ball game right here. Let's go. Oh, field with the bad snap. Oh, Bull. he got him. Oh! oh. Yeah, it's close. G good defensive play. Good defensive good play. Good throw. That was Ty Briere, I think, yeah. in on the uh, the knockdown there. Oh, it might be. Yeah. Could have been, been a little P.I. Pretty P. close. Coach. Probably could have been a little P.I., but, but hey, let them play. They, play, they, 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 they yeah. let them play tonight. They let yeah, them play. Yeah, that was a close play. A close, yeah. You got to let that go. You gotta, yeah, you got to let it go, yeah. Receiver had a chance to catch the ball. They were throwing to Goldstone again. So. But let's not do nothing foolish now, like trying to fake it now. We've let's got 29 <laughs> seconds left in a 10 for the pro city championship. You know, I'm not even sure of what the overtime rules are. Me either. Uh, oh, there we go. We were told the same in the CFL. Are oh, we burning the timeout? Well. The boat is burning the timeout. They better go for it. 
They probably no, don't. I think they just want to make sure they're, they're clear on their blocking oh, here okay. and covering downfield. I what, hope so. What are they going to do? I hope so. I hope they haven't burned the time out of be like, you know what, guys? Change your plans. We're going to fake it. Because <laughs> if I'm the Miller coach right now, I say, listen, they just burned the time out. Watch for the fake. <laughs> well, it's 13 yards. Yeah. It's not like yep. third and three or it's four. It's a little too late to get adventurous now, right? <laughs> That's right. Although the, the play has opened up a whole lot in the second oh, half. Oh, yeah, it has. Yep. It has. Yep. I think they just wanted to make sure everyone knew who they were blocking. Right, yeah, Simons. Who's going to get downfield? Miller's coming too. You don't need to run it into the kicker, I'll tell you that. Yeah, that would be a disaster. Yeah. Good point. And oh, there's a flag has been thrown. Who's the flag thrown though? The right back just after the punt uh, left the punter's foot. Did he hit the punter? No. Because I know you can't do that. Objection of conduct. No. Holding. Oh, holding on uh, Miller. They must have grabbed a hold of someone. Well, get the call. Possession. First oh, down. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, well, that's a call you don't see very often. Right. That was uh, Hannah Nitro yep. Ice. Uh, Nitro Ice. Called for the hold. Yeah, you, there you see the flag. I'm going to give a shout out to both coaching crews, though. I was a little harsh on both of them tonight, but it's turned out to be a fine football game. Yeah. They're both, you know, both, both teams seem to be opening up their playbooks, and the kids are getting after it. Well, we've got Ryan Giesbrook uh, with the head coach at yep. uh, at Lebolis and uh, Jace, Jason Ducek uh, over at Miller. <laughs> J Jason whoa, whoa. was the longtime head coach for O'Neill. Right. How come the clock's running down? Because of the penalty, we're going to run. We're going to run the clock down. Or? Zero. I mean, they must have whistled it in. Oh, okay, I didn't yeah. see it. Yeah. So. <laughs> At the end of regulation time, it's 10 all. It is. It's been a while since we've had a, a, a good competitive city final. I think the last one was when Miller yeah. first won it against Josh Donnelly and those Lobotas Golden Suns back in the day there. Yeah, this is, it's going to be uh, from the 35 yard line. I think they get, uh, each team gets a uh, possession uh, until there's a winner. Hey, we've got to look at some of the, the scoring plays in the game. There was that first touchdown pass. Yeah. And to Jacob Goldstone. Yeah. That was the biggest play of the game. It so, was, yeah. Yeah. Then we had a scoop and score. Score, exactly, right there. Yeah. Yeah. By Ty Briere on that one. Well, right now, you could throw out all the national high school rankings and yeah. well, that is all of, hey, it's, 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 the, it's championship rounds now. Well, you know, Miller is yet to score an offensive touchdown. Offensive touchdown, right. Uh, the wind's picking up a little bit, too, coming this way, so. Whew. It's going to be going to be interesting what they do here in the, in the overtime. Referee is explaining the rules to them. So just like the CFL. Yeah. You get uh, the ball at the 35 yard line, I believe, and you goal or score a touchdown. Right. I'm not sure if the convert rule is the same. You have to go for a two point convert. I've been I've, I've been fortunate in my 17 year of coaching career up here in uh, the good uh, city of Regina that I have not been able to participate in a overtime rules game and you know what every year the uh, ref gives me a copy of the overtime and I never read it <laughs> so I'm pretty excited to see this in high school football I've seen it a couple times in the see you don't see it that much up here you don't see it that much up here like in the states right because 
the, the offense gets so many opportunities to score to, to win yeah. a game, right? Yeah. But yeah, there's way generally more scoring in the right. CFL. Right, more, more scoring. More wide open at the university level even. So, junior football. Right. So I'm meant to be here to watch this right now because <laughs> it's a learning experience. You won't, have, <laughs> you won't have to read the rules. Right, right. Freestyling right now because I have absolutely no idea what's going on. But we're going to figure it out. I think uh, Miller has got the ball first. Right. Yeah. Uh, you saw. Oh, for sure they're taking a shot the first play. Let's see. Well, you never know. You never know. We're going to find out what's going on. Either they're taking a shot or it's inside zone. Now they're going with what they've been doing best all game. That's, I think that's a first down. Yep, inside zone run. Are they marking it just short? Okay, just short of a first down. Some tough running inside. Gonna bring up second and short. Second and short. About a half a yard. A half a yard. 61's checking in. Do you take a chance and go play action nope. and throw nope. the ball? Nope, not a chance. No? <laughs> not a chance. Not with that old line. Oh, but he might have. Yeah, hey. He got it. But he got it? He got a yard, and that was it. Yeah, they, they uh, stopped that up pretty yeah, quick. Yeah, they were there. Yeah, not much there. Yeah, that's number yeah, two knifing got it. in yeah. there. That was John Camplin uh, knifing in there. Yeah. But it is a first down. First down. And they've advanced the ball 11 yards so far. Coming up, inside zone run. Double tight end. Yeah. Yep. And, he got and about, is playing that. They playing it got well. about three yards there. Yeah. So what Miller's Maybe doing, two. they're going double tight. What they're doing, they're pulling one of their uh, guards here yeah. to clean up. If anybody's coming down that line of scrimmage to take it, and then their running back, he just yeah. reads off that guard and picks his poison. Right? Well, LaBelle did a great job of playing off the pulling right. lineman and making the tackle. Right. So brings up second and eight. They're gonna pass. Nope, nope. inside zone running in. Oh no, well, they passed. Yeah. He, oh, oh, you got a shimmy. Ah, uh, they got him out of bounds. Yep. He's gonna be uh, what? Two yards short. Yeah. They Num had a chance to get him. Number uh, ten, back. Eric Weave. You got a shimmy, buddy. You got a shimmy. Break down. You learned this playing Mighty Mites years ago at Coach Ron Hall's uh, tackling camp there. You got a shimmy. Yeah, pushed out of bounds there uh, by number 22, Jacob Panko. But this is third. Is this not third and two now? It's third and two. Yeah. They're kicking it. Uh, going for the field goal. Yep. Yeah. You can't afford to take a chance if you get stopped. They got to make this field goal. This is a pressure kick. This is a this is a pressure kick right here. Well, let's see how he does. Ooh, ooh. He got it. He got it. Didn't get a, uh, a real get good a piece of yeah. the ball. But yeah, he got it. He got it through there, so give him credit. That was Cohen Katrina, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he sort of chipped it through. He did. So did now you? the pressure's on the bowl. They have to get at least a field goal. At least to, a field goal. To make this overtime continue on or but if they score it's all over if they yep. score a touchdown they have to have other guys though like i know they're they're, they're feeding they're feeding uh uh goldstone and they're feeding mazer but they got to have other guys out there that can come up and make a play for them too yeah. 
Well, let's see. Let's see what we get here. Oh, just straight ahead. Oh, oh. Got, oh, oh, what do you got here? Oh, he's inside the 20. That was a great first down play. Just a straight ahead run. Yeah. Get that play in and get on the line and take it back to him. Don't let up. Get back, get that play yeah. in. Get that play in. Get nice, on the line and nice take it to him. Nice block by Goldstone and LaBelle. Both made key blocks yeah. there. Mazer found the gap and did the rest. Get the play in. Let's go. Here we go. That D line from Miller got to step up right here. Oh. Oh, Ooh, great play. Yeah. Great play. Yeah, I got him by the ankle. Great play. Adonis Babidis. Babidis. Adonis. That's a great name. Adonis. A Greek god. Greek god. There you go. Yeah, got him uh, by the ankle. And the air got, uh, got up limping a bit there, tied he the did. air. So, oh, that's a big one right here. Yeah, second and nine. What do they got him? There's that boundary toss. Ah, they went to that too much, man. Yeah, well, I don't understand why they keep tossing it into the boundary. To the boundary. Yeah, he got, what did he pick up, about three yards? And then to make it worse, like, you want to give you a kick or a straight shot. How about we just run it into the middle of the field, at least set up a decent field goal. He has to hook this. Uh, well. Or does he? Does he here? Oh, well. No. He still have a pretty good look at the Yeah, he does. Yeah, yeah, he does. He's far enough uh, away. It's going to be 26, 20, 27 yards, about 26 yards. Oh, yeah. oh, he just he got, got it. it away. He got it. He got I it. was almost blocked. He got it. Boy, that's a pressure kick. And that was a hot snap too, Coach. Yeah, great like drop by pinner, the holder. That eh? pinner had to reach up there and grab that one. Oh, that pinner's Maccabi in. Yeah, he's got good hands. Yep, Brian Sampawar with it right there. B Bantam Laker. He I'm, had to go up and get that. That saved that. Yep, good yeah, job. Yeah. Was that running into the kicker? Well, I don't think they're going to call it unless it's an, flagrant, you know, right? Flagrant, absolutely yeah. flagrant. Right. Uh, Double OT. <laughs> well. So why they got to be back up again? Okay, now this is different. Yeah. Because back home is just okay. The other team gets another shot now. Yeah. Uh, the other team that started on. Uh, uh, on, on, on offense last goes first now. Yeah, well, what are, what are they going to Are they going to switch ends here? Yeah. yeah. No, we're going to go that way again. Yeah. Okay, so that's the difference now. See, I'm learning. I think that's... Gee, you would think that uh, Leboldis would have to have the ball first. That's, that's, it's, that's, that's it, what I thought, too. It's right? an that's advantage to go to get the ball second because right. you know if you do you have to kick a field goal to right. win or right. a touchdown to win. or Right. That's what I thought, too. Yeah. I, thought, I thought since Leboldis went last on those, that they have to go up first right here, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're all confused on this. Babe. <laughs> Well, they're going to have to stop them, It's though. turning into a great game, though. I'm happy <laughs> I'm here watching it. Yeah. Here we go. Take the Play counter, action. rolling. Oh, and under pressure, he avoids the oh, first rusher. Interception. No, just knocked yeah. down. He's lucky he got that ball away. He could have been sacked. And lucky it wasn't intercepted. Yeah. Can't be careless with it. Yeah, there's pressure there. He escapes uh, there. Gets the ball off. Oh, Ooh, <laughs> the two, two Leboldis players fought each other for the right. ball. Right, 
if only one of them had gone up, there's an interception. Yeah. But he was just lucky to get that ball off because, well, that was Mazer on uh, defense that had the pressure on him. Yeah. He, They're pulling out all the stuff. They're pulling out all of them. Yeah. There's a pass out to the flat. And Great tackle. Yeah. Did he get the first? Yeah, he's awful close. I think he's just short. Tanner Donovan. Oh, coach, they're giving it to him. Are they? Okay. First down. Just up, just past the 25. Nice throw. Mm. That's, yeah, nice nice job of uh, Tanner Donovan fighting for that first down. So, back to pass again, getting some time oh, he got to it, the he end got, zone. He got somebody. Oh, great defensive play! Yeah, just played great through the arms, play. right? He just great played right play. through his arms. Jacob Panko, good job. And that was a good throw too. Yeah, he got some time. Oh, yep, good play. Yeah. Hit, hit him in the hands, but the but, DB. Yeah, the DB just uh, played through the arms of the receiver. Yeah. Didn't have to look back for the ball. So second and ten now. A big play for both teams. So if they don't, uh, they don't uh, get any yards here. It'd be a 32-yard field goal. Right. Which you know, with a cold ball and young kickers, that's starting to push the limit. Yeah. Inside zone. Interesting. Oh, oh he's fighting. He broke tackles. He broke it. Yep. First down. They wasn't expecting that either. No, they, they wasn't expecting ready for that. that. No, they wasn't expecting that. Good play call. Yeah, and a great run by Braden. Yeah. Yeah. Found the, that space See? there. Look at that old line yeah. working. And ran through a tackle. That was just, just really, really, really good work. go he's in the center now offset eye just straight up the middle nothing fancy yeah. about that I think that's what they're gonna do from here on out just grind it all out grind it, grind it out and run between those uh, all Canadians you got up front there and yeah just running behind the straight ahead blocking by the yeah. boys up front Got five yards. I think I'd do the same thing. Yep. Get another five Every yards. Every time we've called for that, the defense has stepped up and made a big play, though. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. Every time I'm like, run the ball, run the ball, the defense steps up. Getting too cute. No. Yeah. Play action. Is he going to run it, though? Room to run. Oh, touchdown. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, they, they called it a touchdown. Yeah, they've called a touchdown. What you think, he was coach? right on the sidelines. I think he had the ball long enough because the ball is dead once it goes over the goal line. And he yeah. had possession long enough to, to, to be a touchdown. Held on, so he's got it. Yeah, yeah, the, oh, ball, oh, yeah. the ball came out way after the... Yeah. yeah. He got hit way after the official had called the touchdown yeah. catch. There we go. Lebo got to come out and score now. That's a nice throw. A nice, a nice job. Throw. Nice job of tippy toeing on the yeah. sideline there. Young Tanner Donovan. Yeah. With the potential game winner. Convert is good. That's a good kick. Yeah. Now it's all <laughs> on the boldest offense. Kudos to the guy that got to run through the bleachers there and grab that football, too. We appreciate you, buddy.
And you know, uh, Von, uh, the QB there, uh, uh, Brady uh, Vindervocal, he, he hasn't really had a great game, but he's showing up in overtime, though. Yeah. It's nicely done. Yeah. He put two balls on the money in that, in that drive. Yep, he did. Uh, one was just a great play by the defensive back. What you go do, LeBeau, this is what you go do. Yeah, we're going to run right up the middle and yep. probably hey. seven or eight yards. Same recipe. Yeah. Same recipe. Get it done. <laughs> a block that's same thing as the same previous thing, yeah. uh, great blocks by LaBelle and Goldstone again, right? Keep running behind those two. Here we go. Yeah, they only need two yards to get a first down. Don't get cute. The counter. They love that <laughs> counter bar. <laughs> but they, it was but successful last success time. Yep, yeah. Yep, yep. They got more than enough for the first down on that. So. Surprised they don't have a play action where they got Liam LaBelle leaking out as a tight end. Yeah. Well, got the play call in from yep. the sidelines. Let's see what they dialed up here. Keep running. Keep, keep, hey, keep running that running back. He's getting your first down. Yeah, they're at the 20 yard line. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> I think when they run that, sometimes it slows them down. Just let them get a head full of steam going forward and just hit it. Yeah. Like it takes so long to develop. Like, look, one, like it takes so long to develop. And by the time he gets the ball, you yeah. already got the Miller guys, you know, they penetrating. Had penetration. Yeah. Right. And that was a uh, good penetration there by Le by uh, number six and all those boys. Yep. Kyle Mangin. Yep. Magnian. Good penetration and fouled up the whole play. Oh, yeah. Oh. Forward pass. It was forward pass. It was yeah. forward. It was forward. It was forward. It was for he had somebody wide open up top though. He had some he had I think he had a receiver wide let's see. Boom. He had no time to throw it. Right. I just called it too something to Lily. <laughs> yeah. But throw uh, it downfield. Throw it downfield. Yeah. yeah. Oh, God. Here he, we go. He's it's the game right here. Yeah, these little hitch passes, screen passes, uh, right. roll one way and throw back the other. Yeah. They just have too many unaccounted rushers. Yeah. They're see, not accounting see what's them. going on here. You got your big, like, you got to spread your big dogs out. There you go. Throw it up there. Whoever gets it, go get it. Oh, right at the one. Ball game. Oh, that's oh. first down. That's first down. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, first down. They just, need, we go. The first they just down. need the first down. Yes. Yeah. That okay. was a huge play. That was a play. huge play. <laughs> and who do they throw it to? Goldstone. <laughs> yeah. Bo Great that's play. That's a really good catch. You score here, coach. You go for two. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, some, I, I don't want to make that decision. I got some lasagna soup at home that I've been waiting to eat when this game is over with, and hey, I'm ready to go home. <laughs> but if they want to play another one, let's play another one. Here we go. They're, oh, two, oh, they're going to have two, to call two, a time timeout. Time out, time out. Oh, oh, my, my, my. What are we doing? They must have a timeout in the overtime, don't they? They do. Time count violation. Oh. 26. The bold is five yard penalty. Still first. My, my goodness. What are we doing? First down on about the one yard line, and we take a time count. Oh. Maybe it was the two yard line. Let's go. Get the play in. Must be some long plays. <laughs> Yeah. Get the ball to me, zone three. Ready, go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
no, no, no. Not going anywhere. And uh, there's a flag. <laughs> the flag. There's a flag. I don't know what the call is. Sideline official. I think it's going to be an offside. Oh, Miller. On Miller, I there think. There you go. Yep. Referee's asking a little boldest captain if they want to take the penalty. <laughs> I Offside, think so. 24, Miller. Five yard penalty, they get it right still back first there. down. Yeah. Right back to where they started. Yeah, he was lined up off. So. And that center still snapping that ball high, too. Jesus Christ. Oh. Still snapping it high. Hey, three straight. Uh, now what do we got? Got to blow it in. Yeah. You got three straight plays. You're on your four line, four yard line. I'm telling LaBelle and Goldstone to lead away. Owen, get behind him. Oh no, we got something here. Yes, he can run, coach. Oh. He can run. He can <laughs> now, run. Now that was unexpected. That was unexpected. He can run. He is a good runner. We know that. Oh no, they're going for the field goal. They're going for the field goal. Gonna go for the single point, tie it yep. up. Yep. Well, that was a nice run. Yeah, it's, they missed a tackle right in the backfield, yep. and that was just walk into the end zone. Then. It's an important kick right here. Oh, yeah, they, and they almost blocked the last one. Yeah. Better snap. Got it. Yeah. So, that was into the third over. Triple time. over time. Lord have mercy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're earning your overtime tonight. Well, if they have to go to a fourth overtime, maybe they should just saw the trophy in half. And <laughs> <laughs> Yep, it's a tie, it's a tie. I remember once before the CFL changed the rule watching six overtimes yes. in a Ryder uh, game way right. back when. Then they changed it to three, and now I think the maximum of two overtime yeah. periods in the CFL. I remember one year when LSU played Texas a and I think it was 2019, seven overtimes. Yeah. Seven overtimes. But I'm not trying to see that tonight, though. No. Somebody got to win this. But it's turned into an instant classic. It's turned into an instant classic. I'm happy I'm ready to see it. Well, looks like uh, Miller's, starting over again, yeah. Miller's an offense first. The endurance and stamina of these young, uh, of, of these kids. Yeah. I like a lot of these boys playing both ways in the cold weather. Well, it Ain't keeps no, you warm. It does, yeah. I think Owen Mazur's out there again on defense. Oh, they, I, they just I almost didn't have no end there. Oh, well, there's that inside run and yeah. Oh, running hard too. Right down to the 19 yard line. First, yeah, first down. There's a flag on the play. What's the flag? I'm not sure. It can't, the sideline official came running in late to Maybe the he wasn't official. set. Maybe he wasn't set. Substitution here. Yep, no end. See, coach, I, yeah. he came in late. Well, they've had that problem a number of times. Yeah. Uh, the one lineman coming in late. Right. What's the result of the play? Well, it should offset the play, right? Because yeah. it should be like, should, it should be yeah. back him up and. It's going to be first and 20. You're right. Yeah. Illegal substitution. Miller, this is a 10 yard penalty, still first down. Yeah, uh, they, they finally got caught on that. Yeah, they finally got caught on that again and again. Right. I think Brady Vindervogel, though, he, he's percolating now. You got to get him going and put the ball in his hands, let him throw. It. You got to wait. You got to wait. Yep. Wait until these kids yeah. are anxious to right. get going. Right. 
I think I think Vindervo could start to fill it though. You gotta let him keep, you gotta let him continue to sling it. Yeah, I think you're right there. First and yeah, looks like no. There's that inside hand. Oh, oh. and he broke it. Man, that boy that got first and twenty back. That is crazy. That's <laughs> he got twenty three. <laughs> twenty three yards back. Yeah. That was wow. Uh oh, we got some subs coming in. Yep. Yep, get big boy out of there. Get him rested up for the next series. Yeah, that was a there huge play. That was a huge play. Huge play. First and 20, and they get 23 yards. And going right back to it again. He got almost another 10. Yeah. Well, that O line for. Uh, for, for Miller are starting to, you know, yeah. they're, they're starting to really grind, right? Well, you're, so, wear, you're wearing down a smaller defensive line. Right, right. Yep, and look at that. They got everybody, everybody got bodies on body right there. They're all blocking, too. So, second and about two. Just back up the go. middle, and I think he's got it. Listen, if, 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 if you ask me to build a team, what's the first what's the first option you want to make in the team? You give me a solid O-line any day. Because if you got a solid O-line, you can control the line of scrimmage. You win in the football game. Well, we, we know that the game is often won and lost at the line, at the of, line scrimmage, of scrimmage. Right? Yep. A really good defensive line can control. It can control too, yeah. Control the game. But. O-line, you know the snap count. Aha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and there it is, huh? just up the middle again. And he's still going. He's still going. My goodness. Oh, they blew it. They blew it dead, huh? Okay. Stopped his forward yep. progress finally. Well, if you're Lebotis, you know this. You got to stop the fight right here now. There's no more first downs to gain. Yeah. Two times right here. You got to stop him twice right here. You got to get it. Well, they're and Miller, the four yard line. Yep, Miller. You got two chances to score now. I think you just keep running the same thing. Keep don't running. You? Yep. <laughs> You'd hate to get fancy don't, and get they, thrown don't, for a Don't loss. get cute. Don't get cute. Do what you're good at doing, not what you want to do. Uh, th they stopped him. But he's got to be to the one yard line now. What you go do, coach? Well, what don't you go do? A little slow getting up. 61 gap. Are they kicking? No, they're going to go for they're it. They're going to go. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, you never know with these. You got the best set of linebackers probably in Western Canada going against the best O line in all of the country trying to win a game. Oh, did in. he get in? Did yeah, he get in? in? He got in, yeah. yeah. Yeah, just a basic quarterback sneak, huh? Yeah. I think they got to go for two now. I believe so. I hope so. <laughs> I'm not sure. I think they got to go for two now. Oh, no. They let them kick it. Yeah, no, because they kicked the last time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, for some reason, I thought they had to go for two after three overtimes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Big kick. Yep, we got and a flag. Outside oh, on. Oh, are they calling yep. that on Miller? No, on Labolis. Labolis. That declined it. So Labolis has to score a touchdown now. Right. And get the convert just to tie it. Coach, from Lebotis, if I score, I'm going for two. 
I'm going, going for the two. win. What? You got to. You got to. You got the number one team in the country on the ropes if you score. And you got four yards to, to you know, you go for two, you got, what, four or five yards to, 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 to seal their fate and send them home? Yeah, that's true. Go for it. You got to go for two. Send them home. You're the underdog. You're the underdog. Yeah. Take a chance, but, yep. they're, but they're gonna have to score the touchdown. You gotta score first, first though, yeah. You gotta score. <laughs> the officials all seem to be a little slow getting back into position. Seem to be some kind of discussion, or what's? Or are they just waiting for the ball? Don't tell me they have to get another ball replaced. Right. I hope not. Oh, they were discussing about because of the offside, do they start five yards further back? Right. Because it was offside by Leboldis on the convert attempt. So it could be they're starting at the 40 yard line, first down. I think you're right, Coach. I think that's what they're talking about. I think they're confused about the rule. I, I don't know if it gets applied uh, or not. On a kickoff, it would get applied, right. but there's no kickoffs in the overtime. So, I don't know the rule. I don't know if the officials know the rule. I don't think it applies because if, if they were all sides, wouldn't, wouldn't Miller would have got the choice to re-kick? To get closer, and they would have declined it and say, "Okay, play on." Yeah, that's what I would have thought. Like, I, like if the offsides would have re resulted in a block kick, then they would have had a choice to re-kick it, right? Yeah. But, so. Well, it looks like they're going from the 40-yard line. Yeah. And listen, people, I'm not a I'm, like, I'm not a rules expert, but <laughs> by by all means. Just a uh, direct snap to Mazer trying to get to that boundary side again. <laughs> and lost yards. I, I, I have no idea what that was. Well, I, was he I, trying to pass? Was he looking to pass? No, it was just a quarter, uh, a wildcat formation with uh, him running to the boundary again. Let him let him have some space. Yeah. But here we go. Let's see what they got here. Let's yeah. see what they got here. Now it's uh, second and twelve. They lost two yards in that. And that was well defended. A little yeah. re reverse action there, just a little forward toss. So if he dropped it, it was incomplete, but yeah. they didn't get the yardage they were hoping for. I don't know. It seems like the Lobotus boys are a little lethargic now. They heads are down now, right? Like, yeah. hey, you got it. You're still in the game here. Yeah, nice, nice, seven. nice work on defense. Uh, right. They're well defended. Isaac Griffin making the tackle finally. But they only got a couple of yards out of that, uh, maybe three. So now, third down. Yep. You need a big play. Oh, oh man. That, oh, no. Oh, that's it. and that's it. The, the bad snap came back to haunt them again. My goodness. That's it. And... <laughs> The Miller bench just exploded. Damn. Happened right in front of their bench. They're just going crazy. They're running over here to see their fans. And hey. just absolute disappointment and heartbreak for the, the boldest players right there. That's what they, Some yes. of them are down on the field. Just, just, just heartbroken. They're tired. Yeah. This was a great game, but Miller showed you what they are. 
They the defending champs for a reason. Well, and they just ground it out. Uh, right. the end there, they just ground it out. Eh? They and just overwhelmed, wore down the uh, defense, uh, the front seven. And you can't make that many mistakes against a team of this caliber. No. The turnovers in the third quarter especially. And the, lo the, the missed opportunities right. in the first quarter. Right. I want to know who the DJ is for the stadium that for these high school games because Regina Minor Football, Lynn Antonina, you guys got to contact these guys. The music tonight has been amazing. <laughs> it's been amazing. Well, okay. So, folks, that was, that was quite the game here. We're going to be signing off now. Thanks for tuning in and watching Access Now Sports. We hope you enjoyed the game as much as we did. We sure did. It was a classic, yep. You guys have a good night. Until next, until next year. If you'd like to share your feedback on the program you just watched, contact us today or join the conversation on social media.